everybody. Usually I have a, a large network of people with me here welcoming you as we come into a session, but not today, uh, because today I stand on the brink alone as we wait for our beautiful cosplayers to be revealed. Welcome to Cosplayground. Uh, it's so amazing. I'm so excited to be here with you all today. Uh, we're going to run through a few announcements first, and then we will get going into our one shot. First of all, I want to talk about Extra Life. They are our partner for this month. We partner with a different organization every month that we would love to get your support on. Extra Life partners with gamers to raise money for local hospitals. So if you could go down and check out that big old button, we would very much appreciate it. Uh, second, programming. Our programming is a little different this coming week in that we don't have any programming. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we will be dark. So uh, don't come looking for us. I'm so sorry. We will be back live next Friday with Rolling Tides and Saturday with Conundrum Company. Uh, we also want to talk about our lovely, amazing partners, Arcane Anthems, who has created our amazing theme songs for both Conundrum Company and Rolling Tides, which is what I'm a part of, so I know the name of it. <laughs> uh, he's amazing, and you should absolutely go check him out. He has a Patreon. That's Arcane Anthems. He's on TikTok, Patreon, all the social medias. And our beautiful, the classic, the time and true sound tale, who gives us the amazing atmosphere for all of the games that we play on this channel. They're the best. Hallelujah. And lastly, we have two very cool things, which is one, we have merch now, so you can go and check out our merch store. Uh, we have some really cute new designs. Uh, for Rolling Tides, we have the Welcome In with Samson. And for Conundrum Company, we have the Welcome In with our sweet little pseudo dragons who make the cutest little sounds you ever will hear. And we have our on the way to 8K giveaway going on right now that you can go and check out on our Instagram. Uh, we have a beautiful handcrafted dice tray that has the Welcome In logo on it. Oh my gosh, it's one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen. It's amazing. You should absolutely go check it out and enter into the giveaway. It is 100% worth your time. Uh, but also maybe don't so that I can win it. No, just kidding. Go enter. Uh, okay. And with that, we are going to get started on our episode of Cause Playground. Amazing! Okay, we begin a sweeping shot down into a small village. Uh, the village is about 200 or 300 people strong. Uh, the village of Hawthorne is nestled in a mountain and valley area that is bustling with wildlife and animals and creatures. Uh, this town is fairly small. It doesn't boast a large town guard or any type of uh, huge governmental system. Instead, the one place that is the hub and the epicenter of the town and village is a cathedral that rises into the sky. The Cathedral to Helm. And that is where we will find our first adventurer. Parker Bliss, would you like to describe your character? Oh, I believe you're muted. <laughs> I know how to do this. I totally know how to, sorry guys. Um, so you see um, just sitting in the cathedral quietly by herself, a very tall, um, still alive, but tall woman in full chainmail, um, just sitting, long red hair down her side. Her eyes are closed, but if you would look closely, they have a golden shimmer to them. Um, and she is just sitting and praying very, uh, very quietly to herself. And that character's name is Anya. Ah, lovely. Wonderful to meet you, Anya. Well, Anya, as you are sitting and praying, uh, an acolyte comes up to you. Uh, you know this man's name to be Derleon. Uh, he comes up to you and he says, uh, Are you doing all right, Miss Anya? Yes. Did Would you need something? Well, just, just, you know, you looked, you know, you were caught in thought. I shouldn't have interrupted you. I'm sorry. That's, that's fine. I just, you... I mean, you saw me 
sitting here caught in thought and wanted to talk? Did you did you need something? What? I just wanted to make sure that you were okay and yeah, you're fine. So, okay. Okay. Uh oh, and and we have we have some visitors coming that as well. Oh. Yes. Is that what you actually meant to tell me? No, and <laughs> he walks away. Okay. Uh, and as you return to your prayer, uh, we see our second adventurer walking through the door. And let's see, Layla, Layla Everlove, would you like to introduce your character to us? As she walks into the temple, you see an air genasi with light blue skin. She has a great messy hair of white clouds and a bunch of little freckles. She's kind of dressed like she's on the road and she's just kind of looking around. Doesn't really know where she's at, but she was told this is where she'd go for the first stop. And Have her name is Vesper. Vesper. And uh, this same acolyte comes up to you and is like, ah, traveler, how can I help you? Do you have anything to drink? I'm actually quite parched right now. I've traveled a while. Yes, right away. Absolutely. Uh, and he will run and go to get you something to drink. And we will come in and see as as uh, these two come into the temple, uh, we will come in on our third character who may be entering the temple, but may also just be entering the village for the first time. Uh, that Schaefer kid, would you like to introduce your character? Walking in, you see a wood elf um, dressed very, rather plainly, not trying to draw attention to himself, uh, with brown hair and um, an air about himself that he probably looks more familiar in amongst nature than he does inside this village. Um, Entering in the temple, you see Devlin. Devlin, lovely. And uh, this acolyte is is rushing back to Vesper with a drink of water, and he says, anything else you need? Oh, there's another one. All right. Um, you stay. Thank you. Okay. And he walks over to Delvin. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the Temple of Helm. Is there anything I can help? I'm just here to pay my respects. I was told that this was probably the main point of worship in this town, and I figured it was probably my best stop here. Yes, yes. We also provide uh, lodging, if you may need it. Uh, anything that you need, absolutely. And I, uh, I appreciate that so much. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I just kind of stares and then backs off a little bit. And then, coming through the doors, bag full of mail is our fourth adventurer. Uh, the court couch, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, you're muted. What? I've used Discord before. Um, <laughs> you see a quite small tabaxi at maybe like 5'2", five, 5'3", five, with um, silver and black fur. And she uh, kind of comes in and she's kind of looking around, big bag, full of mail. And she sees the acolyte and whispers him over. Like, Hello. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Hello. Mama. She pulls out her bag and she has a couple of letters. Like, this one specifically is for the high priest. Ah. Oh. Carefully, very carefully places it in his robes. And then just general mail. Thank you. All right. Uh, he he takes the big stack uh, and he kind of shuffles with it for a little bit and then is like, I uh, guests and I will be right. I'll be right back. Sit tight and I will get you a a tip. Do we do we give you a tip? You don't have to, but it's always appreciated. I'll, I will find you a tip. Uh, and he kind Thank of you. scuttles off with the mail. Uh, and all four of you are kind of just left in the main area of this temple, just 
you know, the four of you people who do not know each other now in a sanctuary of a holy place. Uh, <laughs> Anya will finish her prayer um, and stand up and like you kind of hear in this very quiet cathedral the rattling of chain mail, <laughs> um, which, you know, against stained glass walls and just kind of stands sword at her side and walks up since the acolyte is gone. Is there um, anything I can help you with? I'm just here to pay my respects. This is a uh, temple to Helm, correct? It is. Uh, are you a follower? No. No, I follow LaRue, but I have been instructed to Give my give my offerings wherever I travel and oh. wherever there is worship to be had. You're more than welcome here. Thank you. And do either of you need anything? I'm just waiting on my tip. Any more mail that needs to be delivered. Huh? <laughs> Do you have any mail that needs to be delivered? A package? A letter? Um, no. I... I don't, uh... I, I don't, um... Spend much time outside of here. Well, that's so. what letters are for. They're great for talking to people from long distances. That would, um... Require knowing people at long distances, but yes. Oh. Well, that's depressing. Thank you. Your con. Oh, I'm sorry, Layla. Were you speaking? I couldn't quite hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your conversation is slightly interrupted by a strange sound of panicked clattering on the front steps of the temple. You can't quite tell what it is yet. Uh, but after a moment, you see a sheep barging through the doors of the temple. Uh, it kind of whips its head around very strangely for a sheep and then spots, uh, let's see. Ah, it spots you, Anya, and clops up to you. And you see that it has a scroll held in its mouth and it goes, ah! ah. She's going to put her hand on her and then look at the male person and be like, is, um, is this yours? <laughs> I like check it over. I look to see, is there a, is there a symbol of the traveler on it? <laughs> uh, there is not. <laughs> nope, um, not one of ours. Oh. <laughs> um, hmm. It starts kind of, it, it considers for a second and then starts butting up against your chain mail. Oh. With the scroll and it's, ah. Oh, um, well, this is different, but I guess protection for all. Um, and she's going to take the scroll. <laughs> Try and okay. see what it is. Uh, now you... can become it for anybody. <laughs> you take a, a look at this scroll and you see on the wax seal that it says scroll of speak with animals. Oh. Um. Not really my area. Um. D did someone. I think it. I think it wants to talk to us. That sounds. Ah, ah, ah. Straight. I could take this if you would like. Oh, uh, d by all means. Take. This is probably a little bit more in my area. I don't have this prepared today, but this will work for now. Uh, and I will cast the spell. Oh, fantastic. Uh, you you unfurl the scroll and you read it, and you all hear as you read it. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. Oh. Hello. Are you okay? 
I am a sheep, do I look like I am okay? I mean, I have met many sheep that are very happy. Well, have you ever met one that wasn't supposed to be a sheep because that is me? I'm going to ask a really quick question. How on earth were we supposed to know that? Well, now that you know, you have read the scroll, but I... I am not okay, all right? I am currently running for my life. Is that what you wanted to hear? Oh, dear. Running from what? Are there beasts chasing you? You would, uh, you know what? That's that's a little bit stereotyping because I am a sheep, but I will let it go by. No, I am not being chased by beasts. I am being chased by and as he is speaking this, uh, you hear another scuffle at the entryway to the temple, and you see four figures enter. Uh, up front is a half elven woman decked out in a beautiful red dress that has been tied up and covered in leather armor. Uh, and behind her are three wolves that seem to follow her. She steps her way into the doorway, brandishing a large sword, and she says, Now, the four of you have something of mine and my master's. Hmm. And uh, the sheep goes, Ah, see, that. I mean, technically, yes, a few beasts, but specifically her. Wolves, specifically. I'll take a step in front of the sheep. I do too, and I'm kind of, you kind of see my fur bristling at the wolves. I will take a step in front of all of them. Uh, I'm now, now. very sorry. Um, are you here to pay your respects? I have no interest in your temple. Obviously, because you don't seem to understand what it's... I'm sorry? I'd ask you to leave my sanctuary. I am more than happy to leave if you give me what is owed to me. I owe you nothing. All right. You'd like this to be difficult? We can make this difficult. Uh, and she will take out her sword, and let's have everyone roll for initiative. So <laughs> early! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> Whoa! Crazy! Oh, that was okay. Ooh, Not crazy. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, you know what? She didn't do great, so y'all are gonna have a good time. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> she probably did better than me, though. I don't know about that. <laughs> Whoop. All right, one moment. Let me get my wolfy boys out so that they can fight you. <gasps> my poor wolf. Wait, we're fighting? Uh, you might but... be. I mean, it's up to you. Wait. Wait, what, Wait, what uh, game right are we playing? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> what game is happening right now? I thought this was friendship with magic. Ooh, he got a good one. Oh no. Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't prepare friends today. My bad. <laughs> My bad. You were going for the organic make friends. <laughs> 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 the non-magic yes, friends. My own heart. Make friends with the wolves. All right, let's run down the initiative. Uh, okay, first of all, let's get Anya. Uh, 13. 13. <laughs> Yeah, you did way better than her. Uh, <laughs> Devlin. 21. 21. Uh, can I ask really quickly, what is your initiative? What's your dex modifier? Uh, plus two. Ooh. Okay. Uh, let's <laughs> get loose. Is that correct? Four. Four. And let's get Vesper. Oh. Hello? Try again. 26. 26. Whoa. That's delicious. Okay. Never mind. I oh, know, no. right? <laughs> Amazing. Okay. So, Vesper, you have three wolves and an intimidating half elf woman with a sword standing in front of you, ready to attack. What would you like to do? I 
Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Um, I'm gonna pull up my longbow. Sure. And I'm gonna put some distance between me and the red dress lady before taking a shot at her. Absolutely. Roll to attack. Does a 15 hit? A 15 does indeed hit. So that's 11 points of damage for the first shot. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> and I'll just fire up with a second shot for my second attack. Amazing. Go for that second attack. Nice. That doesn't hit. I don't think a 10 hits, does it? A 10 does not hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you fire off this first uh, longbow shot. It strikes her in the shoulder and she staggers back a little bit. You fire off the second and she manages to duck out of the way. Uh, okay, next we have one of these wolves. Uh, and this first wolf is going to run up and take a, well, attempt to take a bite out of Anya. All right. Ooh. Let's have some fun. Okay. <laughs> does a, no, I'm guessing a 10 doesn't hit you. It does, it does not. <laughs> okay, fantastic. And that is its turn, and we will go to Devlin. You see Devlin kind of roll this wooden shield off his back, and as if through magic, a wand appears in his hand, and he's going to point it at the group of two other wolves and uh, this lady and cast Entangle. Oh, okay. So go ahead and read out Entangle for my uh, personal edification. Grab these and sprout from the ground in a 20-foot square, starting from a point within range. For the duration, these plants turn the ground in the area to difficult terrain. Uh, a creature in the air when this area, when the spell is cast, must succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained by the entangling plants until the spell ends. Fantastic. Okay. Strength saving throw. What's the DC for it again? 15. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, every single one of the wolves fail. Let's see if our half-elven woman is any more successful. I told y'all I'm rolling with my curse dice today. Yeah. Excellent. She does succeed. Okay. okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Wonderful. So they are all grappled, correct? Restrained. Restrained. Okay. Fantastic. All right, and with that, the next turn goes to, let's see, Anya. I'm, I'm telling you, these people did not do well on their initiative. Awesome. Uh, so I'm, is the elven woman like directly in front of her? Um, if uh, not, she'll move up to her. This wolf is in front of you, so if you move, the wolf you first. will take an opportunity okay. attack against it, but yes, okay. you can move up to her. Then I, she will pull her greatsword and she will again um, be looking at the elven woman but hitting the wolf and just say out of my sanctuary and roll to hit the wolf fantastic go ahead uh, that is a slutty 20 <laughs> oh that hits <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what <laughs> a dirty 20 um and then that is an eight points of damage. Okay. You slash into this wolf and it immediately looks so bad. It yelps and staggers back and you see this woman just alight with rage. And she cool. says, over my dead body. Uh, oh. She gets two attacks per turn. Oh, she mad. So I'll, be, I'll be attacking again. Go um, for it. So, uh, 16 plus 6, so 22 to hit. You hitting on this that wolf one. again? All I'm right, how do you like to, again. how do you like to kill this wolf? Uh, I am going to, she's, so the first one was a slash. This one, she's just finishing it, like stepping in further using her foot, and then she'll pull it out. And I want, like, kind of the blood splatter on, effect on, like, the floor behind her. Uh huh. And listening to the woman, she's like, I'll get to you in a second. <sighs> 
<laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> this wolf drops to the floor. Okay. And with that, let's go to wolf number two, who, seeing uh, you attack its friend, will indeed also come after you. It, and has, to, it is restrained currently. It is so restrained currently. It oh, you're can't correct. move. It can use its action to try to break the restraint. Okay. It is going to use its action to try to break the restraint. Actually, both of them are coming on this turn, so they're both going to try to use their action to make, break the restraint. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Amazing. Nice. And with that, we go to Luce. Uh, you see Luce from her bag pull out a book, um, kind of uh, old, rustic, leather-bound thing. And first, uh, with one hand, she's going to point at the, the half-elven woman and cast Hex. And then, using her book, uh, cast Firebolt. Ooh, okay. So, go ahead and tell me what Hex does really quickly. Uh, hex is a bonus action, and essentially it. Uh, let's see. Where's the page? Uh, bonus action. Uh, I place a curse on a creature that I can see within range, uh, which is 90 feet. Mm -hmm. um, until the sp spell ends, I can deal an extra 1d6 of necrotic damage to a target whenever I hit it with an attack. Fantastic. Okay. Go with your fireball. Okay. Fireball. Um, sorry, I was double checking if it was, uh... Oh, you're fine. Does a 12 hit? I 12 does not hit. <laughs> Darn. Ah, so it, is it just one? Or uh, just one yeah, attack no, for fireball? I think so. I think, I I think just you're correct. One. Yeah, okay. So you shoot off this firebolt, and she actually raises her sword and stops the firebolt with it. Yeah, go. Well then. And I take a couple steps back. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, it is Kelwin's turn. She is not restrained. How uh, dare you? <laughs> I'm the only one that, <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> I didn't mean to say her name. Oops. <laughs> uh, she will step forward and take an attack on Anya. Uh, yes, she will. Okay. Actually, let's use this dice. I feel, I feel a little more lucky with this bad boy. That's a nat one. <laughs> oh no. But, uh... She does attack twice. Thank God. Come on, girl. Okay, I doubt that this will hit. Tell me if a 12 hits. Does not. It does not. She swings down twice with this great sword. You block every blow. Uh, you see the rage in her eyes. And with that, we will return to the top of the initiative, Vesper. You have two wolves left and uh, a fighter in front of this woman Anya that you have just met. I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on the woman. Okay. And then I'm going to just take two more shots at her with my longbow. Does an 18 hit? An 18 does hit. Actually. Uh. 11 points of damage for the first one. Okay. Ooh, nope, that's uh, a nine to hit on the second one. Uh, that will not hit. <laughs> but hey, that first one took a good deal of damage out of her. You see it uh, strike right through her leather armor again, and she kind of bows forward a little bit and stares up at you and... Uh, She's considering. She's considering changing her mark, but she hasn't come to a decision yet. And with that, we will go. Oh, that wolf's dead. Goodbye. It's Devlin's <laughs> turn. <laughs> um, 
still kind of keeping focusing on that entangle. Uh, he's then going to flick out his wand again uh, and cast Thorn Whip at the lady in front of Anya. Fantastic. Uh, which is going to be a 24 to hit. <laughs> no, that doesn't hit, actually. Crazy enough. <laughs> no, go ahead. Roll your damage. Uh, nine points of damage as he then yanks her 10 feet closer to him. Okay, nine points of damage and 10 feet closer. Fantastic. She's starting to look a little rough. And with that, we will go to... Oh, and oh, so it's a thorn whip. And we will go to Anya. Cool. Um, melee fighters. Uh, rinse and repeat. I'm going to hit her twice. <laughs> Very much. Go for I'm it. I'm going to try and hit her again. Uh, that's a 12. A 12 does not hit. I miss while he pulls her. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you're kind of like trying to <laughs> slash down and it, she just gets wrenched. <laughs> hmm. And then she'll try again. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, 18 plus 6. Uh, that will hit. Okay. Yes. Uh, that one is 10 points of damage. 10 points of damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Fantastic. Her bonus action is just looking and like, I, good job. <laughs> She's like <laughs> upset that she missed, but also like. <laughs> Use your bonus action to say good job. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. And we will go to these two wolves who again, still restrained. Let's see how they do. Ah, okay. It's a 15 DC, correct? It is. Okay. One of them breaks out. That's their full action, correct? Yes. Okay. The other one breaks out as well. Okay. That's cool. And that is their action. So let's go to Luce. Hey. Hello. Um, keeping, keeping Hex up. I'm going to pull out, uh, pull out my book and try again for... Firebolt. Amazing. Go for it. That's a five. Oh, no. It's just like... <laughs> does not hit. It goes wide. It's like... <laughs> That's okay. Uh, it is Kelwyn's turn. What does Kelwyn want to do? She's going to take a look at her fallen wolf on the ground, and she looks very messed up, uh, and she is going to press a hand to where the arrow struck into her and say, Wait. You don't understand. All we want is him. And she points to the sheep, and she will withhold her action. Uh, that's your turn. Uh, that is the top of initiative again. We are going to go to Vesper. Look at the sheep real fast. What's it doing? What's he doing? Is he just like chilling back there? Still? He is currently cowering behind a pew. Mm -hmm. I'll knock an arrow, but like I'll hold my action just to kind of look and why do you want him exactly? He's a prisoner and he needs to be returned. Uh, You're keeping a sheep prisoner. <laughs> he kind of pops his head out a little and he says, a, a prisoner by, by no worthy means. And uh, hold action and just wait to see if she gets more answers and just kind of just keeps looking back and forth at them like very confused of this sure thing i think that's about six seconds of dialogue so let's jump into our next person who is devlin i'm not much for animal cruelty and would really rather you give us a better explanation than you're just keeping a sheep prisoner well he wasn't always a sheep did you Obviously. make him a sheep? I didn't. My master did. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a great thing to do to a person and just kind of hold his place in front of the sheep. Sure thing. 
Are you also withholding your action? Uh, yeah, if she tries to move towards the sheep, I will uh, hold a thorn whip ready. Fantastic. Okay. Man, if she if she does anything bad, she's just going to get a world of pain, isn't she? <laughs> uh, and with that, we will go to the next person in initiative, which is Anya. Hmm. Um, she is going to, because she's standing right next to the woman. Um, you have to give me one good reason. Because you were very rude. He deserves his imprisonment no matter what he says. He must come back with us, or things will go back to the way they were. Can I? Is is she currently restrained? You had Thorn Whip. What she does is that not. Do? She's not restrained at all. Okay. It, it um, pulls her, yeah. May I <laughs> grapple her? You can sure try. Let's do an opposed. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's do an opposed. Posed athletics check. Athletics check. Okay. Yes. Sixteen plus six. Woo. Yeah. Twenty-two. She got a straight <laughs> sixteen. So <laughs> okay. yeah, you you <laughs> grapple her, and uh, you successfully uh, get her arms down to her sides, uh, and she stares at you, eyes blazing, and is like, oh, you will pay for that. Uh, and the wolves, hmm, are these wolves going to attack? I think they are, she, she speaks out to them and tells them to hold, and they will also hold. Because as of now, you have not attacked her. Uh, currently. and currently they are waiting though, and that's loose. So you say he's done something bad and that things will go back to the way that they were, but that's very vague. Better explanation, please. I don't need to explain anything else to any of you and he is of no consequence to you. Uh, Luce pulls out her dagger and holds it up to her neck. Explanations. I don't respond well to threats. I'm sorry, what did you say? Neither do we. And... Uh, my dumb girl, she's gonna attack you. Uh, <laughs> she's gonna break my grapple first. Uh... <laughs> is are you unable to attack and grapple or is it just that your speed is reduced? I don't know. Through? Is that restrained? I don't remember. I'm going to look it up really. <laughs> just to make sure. Uh can use its action to escape. Uh yes. One moment. Yeah, I'm going to say that she does need to break out of this grapple in order to attack. She will also call her Wolves. So, uh, yeah, she's going to use, she was going to use her readied action to attack, but, uh, oh, disadvantage on attack. Thank you, chat. You're the best. Love chat. Love chat. Uh, That's okay. A- she is going to use her special attack and try to hit oh, no. both Luce and Anya with this attack. Cool. But she is rolling a disadvantage. Uh, that's a 15. Yep. Does not hit. Do that hit. Does hit Lucy. Okay. She's having a good day. Aww. She's just trying to do her job, man. Okay. Whew. Okay. This that's on uh, 11 points of damage on Lucy. Uh, and at that, uh, the wolves are going to take their attacks, but you all prepared your actions before they prepared theirs, so I'm going to let you all take your actions first. Let's start with 
Uh, let's see, the first per person to hold their attack was Vesper. So let's start with Vesper. A 15 hit. Uh, who are you aiming at? Uh, I'll aim at one of the wolves. That's just to yep. get them out of the way. It absolutely does. And this one's up. That's 11 points of damage to one of the wolves. Yeah, you take one of them fully down. You, uh, how would you like to do this? Um, I guess as it starts moving, she'll just quickly change and just aim straight for the eye and just put him down. Just, nope, not dealing with it. Get him out of that way. 100%. He drops and this half-elf woman screams. Um, okay, next person is... Devlin, I believe. Um, yeah, as she, like, attacks out at my friend, or this person that I just met, uh, <laughs> I'll release my thorn whip at her. Fantastic. Uh, um, for a 15 to hit. 15 just hits. Great. Um, for 11 points of damage. All righty. And then, uh, Anya, you grappled, so you did I not- I grappled, I don't have a hold one. Okay, absolutely. Then it is the sole remaining wolf's uh, turn. One moment, I'm subtracting damage. Whew. And he is going to, seeing that his master essentially is being grappled, is going to level an attack well, actually, no. It's going to level an attack at Delvin because Delvin just hit her. Uh, Great. So, let's go. Does a 19 hit you? A 19 does hit. Okay. Then let's get some damage. Uh-huh. He hits you for... Grab out my D4s. Six, eight damage. Eight points of damage, awesome. Yes, and you need to succeed on a DC 11 saving throw. Of what? Strength saving throw. I am wonderful at those. Wow, 19 minus two is still hey, a 17. you <laughs> did it. You are not knocked pro and this thing sinks its teeth into you, but you are still standing. <laughs> Uh, and with that, we will go back up to the top of initiative uh, with Vesper. It's still the half elf, and there's still one more wolf. Half elf, one wolf. I'll take a shot at the wolf and just go, these seem to be her friends. That's a 21 hit. <laughs> Yes, a 21 hits. Rolling hot tonight. Hot rolls, I, I love it. I am. That's only five points of damage. So. Okay, listen, you're gonna need these wumps. So this is good. And okay. that's all. Absolutely. Okay, next in initiative is Devlin. Um, Kind of just like putting his shield between the wolf and himself. You really don't have to do this. And he's gonna drop his concentration on, on Entangle um, and cast uh, Healing Word, um, or not Healing Word, uh, sorry, Healing Spirit um, over um, the Tabaxi's space. Um, and restore three points of health. Yes, <laughs> I'll take it. Amazing. Would you like to do anything else? Uh, nope, that's it. Fantastic. Okay, and with that, we go down to Anya. Um, she broke the grapple, right? She did not break the grapple. She, she made an attack. Not. Okay. I am gonna have Anya. Um, it's it's like Anya. Kelwin and then our elven friend, correct? Because Thornwhip, is it like that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Um, and the wolf is on your elven. Oh, on my elven friend. Okay. Yes. Um, she's just going to be like, I told you to leave. And she's going to drop her grapple on it and attack the wolf first mm, to get okay. it off of the the friend. Uh, that is a nine plus, what is that? Six. So 15? 15 will hit. Yep. Okay. Um, math. Um, and that is 10 points. Fantastic. The last wolf falls and you see this half elven woman just go absolutely rabid, insane. Uh, and she swings. I have two attacks. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. And I'll be attacking again. I always forget when we hit level five. That's our first uh, yeah. 15 to hit. 15 just hits. Okay. Uh, that is 10 points of damage again. Okay. She is looking very messed up, but she is still there. And she is going to level both of her attacks onto you. Uh, let's go with this bad boy. Okay. That is a 14. I don't think that hits. No. Okay. And a 22. That one hits. That will hit. Okay. She swings out with her great sword. And that is 13 points of damage. Uh, you stand in the midst of the temple, uh, bloodied half elf, the four of you, and three bodies of wolves littering the temple floors. We are back up at the top of initiative with Vesper. I didn't go. Oh, I'm so sorry. Luce, get in there. Um, gonna this time uh kind of go into her. I feel like I'm still pretty close because she's she hit me. Yeah. You know, try and grab her, maybe even just smack on her face and <laughs> you fucking grasp. Absolutely. So go on, traveler. That's a natural 20! Yeah! <laughs> hey Luce! <laughs> How do you want to do this? Fuck yeah! <laughs> um, just I'm reeling, still reeling from the slash that she gave me earlier, and just mad. You can kind of see like her eyes kind of just go just into pure slits as her hand just goes right on her face and just shock immediately through her body. Uh, yeah, absolutely. A shock courses through her body, uh, and she lets out a final scream and drops to the ground with her woven command wolf companions dead. And we are out of initiative. All, All right. right, that was 20 just not sad, but Parker's a little sad. <laughs> That's um, okay. The healing energy from Healing Spirit is going to heal um, Luce again. Um, for another two points of healing. And as Devlin kind of continues to concentrate on that, um, he's going to walk around to each of the wolves and like close their eyes and kind of say a quick prayer over the body of each wolf. Very How many points of healing was that again? Uh, another two points currently. <laughs> yeah. All right. And as you all... Uh finish and take yourselves out of initiative. Uh, the sheep pokes its head back around the pew and says, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. She's An terrible. explanation. Yes, of course. Of course. I'll tell you everything. Uh, I am... My name is... Uh, what is my name? I've suddenly <laughs> forgotten completely. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my no name is. Uh, well, I've I've been a sheep for two years, so you'll have to forgive me uh, for getting my own name. Uh, my name is Finithia Shinebright. Uh, I am a wizard. Uh, until about two years ago, I uh, lived in a tower right on the outskirts of town. I was a very respected, very respected wizard, very talented wizard, uh, very good at what I did. 
and I specialized in transmutation. Uh, however, uh, one night when I was coming out of my trance, my traitorous assistant turned me into this. I have something. It is a wand that can polymorph creatures for good, and it's my greatest pride and joy, and my assistant decided that it would be better in his hands than in mine, and changed me into this. And um, his name is, um... No. That's his name. Ahmed, no. There's no way to change me back until we get that wand. But I can't go back on my own. I'll let you keep the wand if you help. I'm a little... I think you're a little confused. I guard this. Not... I'm not going anywhere. I'm sorry. Do you think that, uh he will stop simply on the outskirts of the tower. No, no, he will come here. He's been working. We've already seen it's... that here. That rings true. Mm. You've already had intruders into your temple. Mm. <sighs> you want us to go where? I want to go to my tower, get changed back to myself, take care of my assistant, and take mm -hmm. my place back. Has Anya ever heard of this wizard at all? Since she uh, grew up in the tower? Roll, roll a history check. Uh, what's my history? 10 plus, what is that? 1. 11. Not great. Makes okay. sense. 18 for loose. 18. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, so, Anya, no, you kind of just stay in the temple. You haven't really heard of him. Maybe you've heard his name once or twice, but uh, you didn't really pursue the conversation any further, so you didn't really find any information out about him. Uh, yeah, Luce, you actually, you know, you travel. You hear stories of people as you deliver mail and go to different villages. Uh, you would know that this is indeed a very powerful, if stuck up and eccentric wizard that lives in the forest. Uh, many people who you have traveled with and delivered mail with before have expressed reluctance to deliver his mail. I kind of kneel down to him and I kind of like poke his nose as I'm talking to him. It's like, I've definitely ah, heard no, of you. No. Ah. No one seems to like you. I, I am so a powerful wizard, wizard and you will not poke my nose. Well, right now you're just a sheep. A talking sheep. Uh, he tries to ram your head and uh, he's a sheep, so he's not successful. Me? Well, are you going to help me or not? I'm going to clear these bodies from the front of my cathedral. And then I suggest that we take a rest, and then we can go. Fine. I do have to warn you that if you take a rest, I will not be able to speak to you any longer. Oh, no. What a shame. <gasps> uh, I think you are a wonderful talking sheep. Shut up. <laughs> and oh. he kind of puffs and trots over to the corner. Uh, she's just going to take the time to uh, clear the corridor and I guess tell some of the acolytes what happened and to dispose of the bodies and such. Absolutely. I'm going to look over Kelwin's body first before mm -hmm. she disposes of it if I can. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, what are you looking for? Just kind of like any kind of like um, symbols or iconography maybe of who this master is that she serves. Sure. Uh, you, strangely, you actually don't 
find anything. Uh, she is oddly bereft of anything besides her greatsword. Hmm. Got a cool sword, though. I look at the sword. Well, this is useless to me. Anyone else want it? <laughs> it's just a great sword. I'm, I'm good. I have one. Do you have like a, I don't know, like a donation signer where we can put it? <laughs> oh, mm, that's fair. Sometimes mine break. Um, Or actually, wait. I look around. Are there any like statues of Helm around? Uh, That's up to you, Anya, yeah. There, yeah, there's probably two on either side of the altar at the front. She's watching you very carefully. Is there anywhere that I can, like, put the, like, sword on the statue? Uh, roll a dexterity check? <laughs> I am a cat! <gasps> the one! Uh, <laughs> you, yeah, you try to put this up there and it uh it, it balances for one moment and then clatters to the floor and actually puts a dent in the base a little bit. Ooh. I look at Anya and I'm just like okay. How I, tall I, is this tabaxi? I'm like five two, I'm real tiny. Okay, cool. Anya's six feet. Mm -hmm. Um she, She's gonna pick the great sword up off the ground, look at the dent, look back at the cat. I, mm, okay, and she's gonna she's gonna put it up there. <laughs> she's gonna put it on the statue because she thinks it was a nice gesture. Uh, do the same check but with advantage. Okay, so eh, nineteen plus. I don't know what my dex is. What it plus one. Slutty 20. Uh, it, it looks like it's it's part of the statue. That should be there. Cool. Mm -hmm. Um. Do, did we want to go? I, I just kind of decided that for all of you. I'm. I will most likely have to go. Well, it's, what way? Did, what way did you say it was again, Mister Sheep? Uh, is this at the end of your short rest? We haven't taken it yet, I don't think. Okay, fantastic. He can still answer you. Uh, southwest of the village. I have to go that way anyway. My goddess mm. is overall talking beast, and since you seem to be a talking animal currently, I think this is my calling. I don't like you. Well, I I'm love you. But I am thankful for your help, so I like you. Yes, let's be friends. Oh, joy. Yeah. I'm going to go over and, like, pat his head. <laughs> oh, God, he hates it so much. Anya's walking back up to the... <laughs> walking back up to the statue of Helm being like, really? Is this it? This is where we're... Okay. You want to you wanna roll for religion to see if they answer you? <laughs> to see if they answer <laughs> She's used to answers. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I, it's an 18 plus 4. 22. Yes. Wow. And I go where you tell me. Which is uh, never anywhere. And then she... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you feel uh, Helm's presence kind of wash over you, and as you speak, uh, their voice comes softly into your mind, and they say, uh, well, normally, but threat to the temple is a threat to Helm, yes? I'm, I'm already going. I don't know why you're still talking. <laughs> Anya, mm -hmm. be careful. Right. Got it. Would you like to rest or would we like to keep talking to your friend? 
I'm always for naps. Cat nap. Yeah. <laughs> cat naps. See me do it. Listen, cat naps are the <laughs> epitome of being a warlock. <laughs> True. All right, we taking a short rest? Yeah, let's do it. Sure. Okay, short rest. Amazing. You all take a short rest. Uh, you hear um, Shine Bright muttering to himself for a few minutes about the help that he's enlisted, and then slowly the muttering turns back into Boz. I am, for my short rest, going to be kind of finding wherever the sun is coming through a, uh, any of the stained glass and just kind of, like, curl up there for, like, ten minutes. I will be using my hit dice. <laughs> but I'm doing. Uh, yeah, you find a really nice patch of sun, and then by the time the long rest, the short rest is over, it has moved, unfortunately. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, anyone else doing anything else? Um, is there a chance I can go find my missed arrows to get them back? Absolutely. Or... They're sticking out of Kelwin's body as the acolytes take them. <laughs> Wait. Take these real fast, and I'm just gonna carefully pull them out as just, sorry. Yeah, Lisa. you see Darley and just be like, ah, oh my god. Okay. Ugh. On my clothes. And she'll just, like, wipe it on her pants, just the blood off, and just like, eh, yeah, they're fine. And just tucks them away. Amazing. All right. We ready to head out? Absolutely. Wonderful. Uh, this now unspeaking sheep once again uh, at the end of your long rest kind of trots to the entrance of the temple and looks back at all of you. And you've never, you know, when you first saw him, you thought he was a sheep. But now that you know that he's a human, you can anthropomorphize him a little bit. And you could not describe anything on his face uh, his little sheep face is anything but resigned. Uh, and he just goes, bat. I think and our sheep friend would like us to follow him. I think our sheep friend needs glasses. I think that was obvious. Okay. I am a friend. I, mm. All right. Uh, follow. <laughs> while, they, while they follow, um, Anya's just gonna be like, I, I feel like this is a little late, but, um, names? Oh. Right? I mean, I mean, unless you don't want to no, do names are, names are good. My name is Devlin. It is a pleasure to meet you all. You're so happy. Sir? I worship a loving goddess. Are you not happy with Helm? Show us talk to you. In a way. What way? She speaks to me through nature and the creatures that I encounter and and the way that the trees move. That's very vague. I I can't decide if I want that or if I would absolutely you know what? Whatever works for you. Who else? Oh, Oh, Layla, I can't hear you. I'm... There we go. I'm Vesper. That's all I really go by. My name is Luce. Amazing. It's a and, pleasure uh, to meet and, and you. And you are? Oh, right. Anya. Nice to meet you. Is it a pleasure to meet all of you? Yes. Can I get a marching order for all of you? I'll be in the front. Okay. Uh, probably either like second to last or like at the back of everybody. Absolutely. I'll be behind Anya. Lovely. Joy. <laughs> be in the back. I'll just if be in the her, back, just kind of like. Hmm. I will say if her braid ends up behind her and it's kind of like swinging, swapping, I'm definitely watching it. Perfect. <laughs> It absolutely will. Peoples. It will. <laughs> uh, so 
Uh, the sheep leads you, uh, Shine Bright leads you to the edge of the forest at the southwest side of town and takes you inside of it. <laughs> and you all walk for about half an hour. And could I get survival checks from the front and back of the party? Wow, I like these dice. Um, yes. Uh, 21. 21? 10. 10? Fantastic. Okay. Uh, well, you, you're walking for a little while. You have Shine Bright next to you, and Shine Bright knows the way to go. So you all don't have too much difficulty finding your way through the forest. Uh, it's a little dark. It's a little gloomy, uh, but it's not too difficult to navigate. As you are going, can I have everyone... What's everyone's passive perception? 17. 15. 15. 12. 12. Oh, cat. There's a cat. <clears throat> cat with a cat. The Amazing. Really, the legend. I might need to take a minute here because I need to feed her. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah! I get my feet for five minutes. Oh my god! Okay. As you travel through, anyone who has a perception above a fifteen uh, will begin to hear a rustling up ahead. It's a little. What, normally when you hear animals rustling through the forest, it's not very, uh, it's scattered. It doesn't make a lot of sense. This sounds like steps. I think we might need to slow up. There might be someone approaching us. Hmm? Oh, I, I didn't hear anything, but my you hear, you see chain mail's a little to, like, loud. Mm-hmm. As you all stop, uh, anyone who would like to make it can make a perception check. Well, oh, okay, never mind. Uh, 18 for Devlin. Uh, 21 for Vesper. Mm. 22. <sighs> yeah, Three. 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 <laughs> Still just so entranced Great. by that yeah, raid. Yeah. <laughs> like, really caught Great. up. Like, Even when so you guys are funny. stopped, it's somehow still swaying. That's crazy. <laughs> just like looking at Anya, I'm like, how do you make your hair so shiny? Wash uh, it. Everyone besides Luce, you stop and you listen. And the sound doesn't come any closer. It almost repeats. You hear step, 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 pause. Step, 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 pause. Hmm. And who got a 21 and a 22? I had a 22. One. You hear, it's difficult to tell, but possibly more than one set of step. Followed. It's about 20 yards away from me. Is there a check that I could try and make to, or a roll that I could try and make to see if Anya thinks it's like a patrol? Like she would be used to doing that in the cathedral or like something like that? Hmm. Let's see. Go ahead and roll for investigation. Prob's not good. <laughs> That's a one. That's a natural one. I get really tired of the cat with my hair. Yeah. Um, there are weird sounds in the yeah, forest, man. Right. You're not in the forest a lot. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so I don't do know you think I... it would be prudent to move up quietly? I oh, can move ahead. Kind of... I'm good in the forest, actually. I don't suggest sending... I mean, I can make us all much more quiet than most people would expect. Well, that sounds great. Do that. Yeah. 
uh, I will cast Pass Without a Trace yes. Wonderful. on our party. Gotta love Pass Without a Trace. <laughs> it's a great one. Very much so. Okay. So what are we doing? Are we all going up forward? Stealth Do we have forward? a couple people? Yeah, moving forward. Just all go forward together. Fantastic. I still roll at disadvantage, so this will be great. You get to add <laughs> plus 10 to whatever you roll. It's true. That's not bad. Don't mess me up. Okay. 19. Oh, wait. I didn't even add things. Hold on. 28. I got a natural 20. It's 37. Oh. Wow. 30, 20. 24. Uh, 28. <laughs> hey. Guys are shadows in the night. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Before you were walking through the forest and there was like the sound of underbrush beneath your feet, as Devlin casts this pass without trace, even as you move through the forest, the sound of your feet is completely muffled. There is no underbrush moving. It is like you have become ghosts in this forest. Uh, you step forward and, uh, oh, you know what? I need to roll for shine right now. <laughs> does he also get a plus 10? He does get a plus 10. He does 10. get a plus 10. But with what? Well. Okay, he's fine. Uh, the rest of you walk like ghosts. Uh, shine bright walks like a slightly more dexterous sheep. Uh, <laughs> can I... Can I pick him up? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Well, she's gonna one hand the sheep if she can. Yeah, you can. You can. Oh, Gary, can I roll go it? for it? Yeah, go ahead and roll. Uh, roll persuasion. Persuasion. Oh. <laughs> uh, whoop. um, twelve plus three, so fifteen. This is going to help. I would assume. You're allowed. Is it going to look undignified? Who's going to see you? It's not about who sees you. It's about... She's picking him up. General! Ah! <laughs> and who will let you pick him up? <laughs> just just one, one hand to the sheep. Amazing. Wait, but we can't understand him. Oh, you're That's right. right. He <laughs> indignantly baws at you as you Oh, pick he him indignantly up. baws at me. And I go... Ah. Boop. <laughs> Amazing. You, will, you, you uh, will never know what he was saying. Never. <laughs> and as you step forward through the forest, uh, all I use you... awakened mind to just like go into the sheep's brain and I'm just like, just let it happen, man. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> and you see two, as you step forward, two brown bears. Uh, they are standing on their hind legs and walking back and forth, patrolling the path. I'm part cat, and even I know that's weird. I don't think that's... Yeah, I that's don't, not normal. I don't think that's a bear. I've never seen bears interact like this. Do you think they were, do you think they were like him? I point to the goat. Can you push me? I'm looking to see what the goat does. Are they like you? Well, that's... Would it be best, would it be prudent for us to just try to avoid them? I don't think it's a good idea to fight a bear. Mm, I would rather too. not. I just skirt around them. It doesn't look that hard. Sneak? I can lead the way. Yes, sneak. Ooh. Go for it. Uh, I will still do a stealth for Shine Bright, but I'll also let him do it at advantage since he is currently being carried. <laughs> Ooh. Disadvantage. Oh, well, that's not the worst thing in the world. 22. Awesome. 31. 22, 30, 21. 34. 
34. Jeez. And uh, I don't even have the, to be a rogue to be stealthy anymore. <laughs> the good Sir Shine Bright got a oh, natural no. 20. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> shine uh, Bright! But I can't even shine see you. Bright like a diamond. <laughs> He's been buying at you this whole time, but the moment he sees the bears, he shuts up. Uh, and you all skirt your way around and find your way past. Uh, go ahead and roll me another survival check. Ten. Ten. Nine. Ooh, okay. Uh, <laughs> as you five, five, amazing. I'm just a postal worker. Why am I here? You deviated from the path a bit, and this is not an area of the forest that any of you or Shine Bright are familiar with. It takes you a little while to find your way back to the path after you wind around these bears. Uh, by the time you get back onto the path and make your way in the direction that Shine Bright heads towards you, I got an alarm. Uh, it's begun to get dark. And... Who here has dark vision? Wonderful. <laughs> Everyone but Anya. Ah, uh, it's kind of typical for uh, a paladin. So anyway, <laughs> you find your way back on the path. It's uh, it's beginning to get dark outside, and you arrive at Shine Bright's tower just as nightfall strikes. Mm -hmm. Those of you who have dark vision see as you reach the clearing just at the edge you see a tower stretching up into the sky uh you see two buildings to the left and you see three ape looking creatures out in the grassy area in front of the tower they are two of them are at the moment sleeping and another is pacing around them, waiting for them to wake up. There is a another bear sitting close by. As you take in the scene, uh, I'm going to have the three of you who have dark vision make perception checks. Twenty-five. Whew. Oh no. Teen. How much? Sixteen. Sixteen. Six. Six. My guys are just cursed tonight. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't like it. Is that everyone? Sixteen, twenty-four, six. Okay, fantastic. As you look forward to this tower, you notice something very strange about it. It's not a typical tower that has been built out of stone or glass. It's almost woven out of branches of trees that rise together and create uh, platforms in the sky. And these platforms are actually, you can see into them. And 30 feet above the ground, you see a platform and you see a man at his desk working. I'm going to roll a perception for our friend there. And uh, at seeing that the light is on, so Anya, you can see this as well. And Shine Bright takes look at this platform and begins to bah insistently, but quietly. I think it, that's the guy we're supposed to talk to or deal with. Yeah, once for yes, two for no. Bat. Bat? So that's not the guy we're supposed to get. Ah! Uh, 
the sheep looks frustrated and just nods their head. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I think. I'm not sure. I uh, don't mean to alarm anyone, but I can't see. So, not gonna be much help. Hmm. Do we... Do we want to do this now? I, I don't... I mean, you don't look very comfortable with sleeping out in the woods, if that's what you're suggesting. I don't... I don't usually look comfortable, but okay. <laughs> I mean, um, I have an option if we want to take a nap. A long nap. Like to I, sleep out here. I I don't I don't know that. Yeah. Can I have all of you roll me a stealth check? And unfortunately, I am so sorry. Pass without trace has lapsed. Absolutely. I we're gonna be fighting probably. Give me one second. <laughs> oh yay! Oh no. 23. That was a stealth check. Um, mm -hmm. 16. 16. That was another natural 20, so 27. Wow. Seven. Oh, no. Disadvantage. <laughs> oh, my God. Jane, I love that. Disadvantage. Jane is rough. Uh, yeah, as you <laughs> sit out in the woods, um, Anya, you're speaking and you're trying to decide on your course of action and a branch beneath you breaks and you kind of jostle to the side and it I drop makes the sheep. your armor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> makes your armor like clank a little. You drop the sheep and one of the, the ape that was awake, its head turns to you very quickly and it stares out into the darkness as if it's trying to see and then it peels no, off no. and runs towards the platform. Uh, it bangs on the door and you see the man up in the platform's attention is brought to you. He steps out, looks down at you and says, you got something of mine. Right there. And he gestures to the sheep. You bringing it back? Well, you see, we've been hearing many different things today. So many different Cover versions. the sheep with my right. arms. Try to hide him. Can you... I also try to cover the sheep with my back. <laughs> Can you just- No sheep here! I'd love an explanation. Listen, there's no need for a fight. You just need to retain the sheep and I won't take all of you out, all right? You won't excuse me? Take like, all of you out? You want to go on a date with us? That's very <laughs> foreign. Oh my. Not interested in dating. Oh, I'm only interested in magic, which is something that he never understood. Is this her ex? Is this her ex? She's looking at the uh, sheep. Shine Bright looks horrified. And <laughs> makes his head. <laughs> I mean, like, we have no idea what the sheep looked like beforehand, so yeah. I mean, we, we can't really speak on your taste. I wasn't. Seen... I mean... He's... My Kelwin was looking for him. Did you see her? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, about her. Yeah, real strong girl. We she definitely is. saw her. You did. You know, you should teach your assistant to respect cathedrals and temples and religious sites. Especially when the gods make them, you know, guarded by large women with swords. You want to talk about respect? Why don't you 
Sure. Ask the little sheep right there if he ever respected me, huh? Well, he can't Cat. talk currently. Yeah, he... No. Yeah, that's right. I did that too. That's kind of sounds like you might be the one without respect that's, then. That's a... Turn someone into a sheep. Yeah, well, you try working for someone for 20 years and they tell you, oh, yeah, I'll teach you magic. And then they just don't. And you say, well, I'm a human, so I'm going to die soon. And they don't care because they're a stupid elf. Uh, I'm. This seems like a lot. We don't have time to make all of this. All I want is the sheep. I don't care about any of you. I keep them well. Really? You turned him into a sheep. Ran away. He's a. He's an elf oh. that you turned into a sheep. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's hilarious, but I mean, come on. You're not helping. What? It's funny. You're not helping. It's still funny. Fine. If you won't give him to me, I'll take him from you. And. Hey. A jump. He extends his hand and extends it towards this brown bear and casts a spell. And you watch this brown bear grow in size, grow, 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 until it is twice its size. It looks down at you and it roars. And it just got easier to hit. We are going to head to our break. Yay! We will be right Woo! back. Woo! Woo! Yes. People off. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Making enemies. Making <laughs> enemies. Making <laughs> enemies. Ten minutes. Yeah. We'll see y'all in ten minutes. <laughs> Bye. Bye.
and all of you die. Oh, what, what a great encounter. No. Wow, that was oh, so fun. Oh, that was great. <laughs> uh, just, you hate those off-screen deaths, you know? They're the worst. No, no well, thanks for coming, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for coming and watching. <laughs> 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 Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back. Sarah to did end up winning the giveaway. <laughs> uh it's it's hard. It's hard when everyone dies, but uh hopefully that won't happen tonight. Uh because we are about to roll for initiative. So if mm -hmm. I could get some initiative rolls from all of my lovely players. I'm gonna roll okay. my initiatives. That's fine. Which there are many. Uh, well, cool. We'll yeah. Do fine. We'll do fine. Super good. All right, one moment. Bow. Gonna roll into my monster. All right. Give me what you got. 19. 17. 17? 11. <laughs> 15. All right. Oh, one moment. I'm on the wrong page, so I'm going to have to get them from you again. All right. Anya? 11. 11? Luce? 19. 19, yeah. Devlin? 17. 17. And Vesper? What'd you get? 15. 15. Fan? Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Let's see what our initiatives are for these uh, wonderful little ape gentlemen who two of them will have to use their turn to wake up. So you do have that in your corner. <laughs> All right. Give me one moment. Speak amongst yourselves. You get a lot of one moments in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Ooh. Okay. 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 I, I mean like that. Nothing. I mean nothing. I mean nothing. <laughs> I don't know what any of you are talking about. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Loose, the and real loose presents in her belly, and I'm just like, give me belly. All right. And with that. Noke casts enlarge on this bear and you watch it grow and grow and grow to twice its size. It roars, but it's not its turn to go. It is one of these apes, the one that is awake. Uh, it is going to gallop towards you. It's going to use its full movement. You are about 30 feet away. Okay. And let's see. Its speed is 30 feet. So it reaches you and let's be fair about this. It attacks loose. Now, these guys are special and you notice that as this one runs up to you, uh, they are wielding great swords. Nice. So this ape is going to cool, slash cool. out at you with its great sword. Well, cosplay ground, Harambe's revenge. That's what <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm guessing an ape. Good night. I'm done. Bye, yeah, everyone. Uh, with that one, that that really is it. That's done. <laughs> Took four points of psychic damage. Uh... <laughs> I'm too used to playing bards. Amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so uh, I'm guessing an eight is not gonna hit you. No. Fantastic. No. He slashes out at you and misses. And with that, the next person in initiative is Dev uh, Loose, actually. It's you. Um, I'm gonna out of um out of the way. And then what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna pull out my daggers and take two uh two slashing uh well two different slashing attacks with my with my alley cat daggers amazing roll to attack wait do i get to roll twice or just once uh you take two slashes i believe you have do you have two attacks 
Do I have two attacks? If I'm just doing physics, because I'm not doing spells. Oh no, Bruno. yeah, just one attack. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Wrapping up. Um, it's a seven to hit. You know, that does not hit. Uh, you this this ape slashes out at you with its great sword. You duck out of the way. You slash out at it. It ducks out of the way. Well then, bonus action hex. Fantastic. Okay. Let me make a note of that. And I'm gonna move back like 15 feet too. Oh, if you move back, you will provoke an opportunity attack from. Never mind. Okay. And then please. next is Devlin. Be careful. Don't move towards these things. And he's going to throw out his wand uh, and cast Spike Growth, um, covering all of the area between the party and the tower. Uh, spike Growth reads, the ground in a 20-foot radius centered on a point within range, twists and sprouts spikes and thorns. It becomes difficult terrain for the duration. And when a creature moves into or within the area, it takes 2d4 piercing damage for every five feet it travels. Am I in the terrain? No, like from like okay. the edge of us out towards the group. Uh, me. Okay. So it's a 20 foot radius, correct? And yeah. difficult terrain means their speed is half to moving through it, correct? Yeah, and for every five feet, they take 2d4 two. damage. Fantastic. Mm. You got him right here. All right. You call up this spiky growth, and thorns grow out seemingly from the earth where there was none. And is that the end of your turn? That is the end of my turn. Fantastic. We are going to go to Vesper. You have. I'm gonna first use. I'm gonna first cast uh, Hunter's Mark on the giant bear that's in front of us, <laughs> and I'm gonna take two shots at it to see if I hit any. Yeah, go for it. Fifteen plus seven. How much? I could do that's basic a math. That's twenty-two. That'll definitely 22. hit. Sweet. So that first hit. Seven points of damage for the first hit. Fantastic. And uh, 23 to hit this hit. That'll hit. This one. Oh, much better, much better. 16 points of damage for that hit. Ooh. Okay. Let me let me add some flavor to this situation right here. Because, you know, combat is so quick. Uh Noak casts Enlarge on this thing. It begins to grow, grow, grow. It's roaring, and uh, Vesper just goes, nope, and takes two shots, and all of a sudden, this thing looks so messed up already. <laughs> like, you have taken the wind out of its enlarged sails. Uh, and <laughs> next in initiative, my babies did very badly, uh, is Anya. Cool. Um, so she still can't see. So what she, what she's going to do is, um, channel divinity. Mm -hmm. Uh, so she's going to pull the great sword and run her hand across it and light it up and cast sacred weapons. So it will emit light for her. Nice. Um, so she's like gonna do that. And then she's gonna be like, oh, that big. Um, and that's, that's, I think, because, yeah, that's my action. Channel TV is my, that's my action. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. Sure thing. That's, that's what she's doing. She's hmm. hunkering down. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So we have now gone to our two apes who are just beginning to wake up. Uh, they go to rush forward and then see this spiky growth that is stopping them and stop up short for a moment. Uh, normally, creatures like this might run through and simply try to attack. These will start to move around the growth. 
Uh, however, they can only use about half of their movement in which to do so because it is a pretty wide radius, so they only reach the halfway point towards you by the end of their turns. Uh, and then we are to Noke, who is going to past... Ooh, what is he going past? Ray of the Frost. Yes, he is. Which I am... He is going to cast Ray of Frost on Devlin because he saw you cast Horny Grope. And just spell it back. Excuse me, I did not. DM tings. <laughs> okay. What's your AC? Uh, Actually, no, nope, I want. Okay. <laughs> So a 14 does not hit you. It does he not. He stretches out and casts Ray of Thro Frost, and it just Bink. right <laughs> at the end. Hurts. OK. And then it is the brown bear's turn. Uh, he's very large and very hurt. Uh, he oh. is. Bless you. Bless you. Ooh. Bless you. He's not gonna move. He's gonna wait. He's gonna hold his action, his big old bear action. And we're gonna return to the top of initiative with this ape who is on top of Luce. And it is going to swing out at you, Luce, again. Uh, but it is not gonna hit once again. It got a seven to hit. <laughs> Okay, this time I'm gonna kind of like kneel down and hold up a hand and cast Eldritch Blast, two beams. Ooh. So it's a uh, it's a roll for each beam, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, one is a ten and one is a fifteen. The fifteen will hit. The fifteen hits. So. Points. Two points of necrotic damage. Two points. Hey, two points. Two points. You, Eldritch Blast, hit him right in the face. Uh, he shakes a little bit and keeps right where he is. And we will go to. Uh, we just did lose Del Devlin. I like to imagine it popped him in the nose. Yeah, it just got. Um, him. seeing them start to screw around the outside and seeing loose in combat with this thing right here, uh, Devlin is going to wild shape. Uh, suddenly his form starts to shift and he turns into a similar ape um, and is going to move right up next to the other ape. Uh, this one that is attacking Luz? Yeah. Okay, great. And that is my turn. Fantastic. Druids. Druids. <laughs> Druids, gotta love. Uh, I am not familiar with this, so just let me know. Concentration does not drop when you wild shape, correct? Correct. You can okay. still maintain concentration. It's still like you still have to make concentration checks and stuff. But fantastic. You okay. Can cast it. Yeah. So another four points of damage that I forgot about on that bear because I have hex up, or on that ape because I have hex on it. Ah, look at that. So it's six points of damage it. total. Yes. Amazing. Okay. We go to Vesper. Keeping my hunter's mark on the bear, I'm just gonna fire two more shots and just go, hope this stops that. Uh, does a 21 hit? A 21 does indeed hit. Yay. Good. Uh, <laughs> that's, the first hit is 12 points of damage. You don't need to hit again. <laughs> you have murdered this large bear. <laughs> Poor bear. <laughs> Rest in uh, peace, bear. Yeah, where do you hit this boy as he goes down? Uh, just kind of out of panic. I'll just go, mm, kind of blind shot at first and just, I end up hitting somewhere on the face. I don't know. 
probably like the eye or something. It just goes absolutely. Abs uh, yes. <laughs> your shot is so strong. You actually see it hit in the face and then come out the other side, and this bear topples to the ground. Okay, and then we have Anya. Um, so for my reference, there was the big bear in front of me. There are it, two that's now down. coming around. One okay. that is attacking loose, and then Noke is up at the platform. He's about 60 feet away. Okay. Um, Including height, by the way. Okay, yeah, so 60 feet over and up? Mm -hmm. Is that, okay. Um, I... There's two apes coming around and there's one in front of my friend, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, she's gonna cross the distance to the ape by the tabaxi and hit it twice. Do it. Um, okay, so that's a 16 plus six. That'll hit. For the first one and then I'll roll for, um, so six plus six, so the second one's only 12. You know what? A 12 hits. Oh, okay, cool. So, um, and um, so that's 11 plus three for the sacred weapon. So 14. And then the second hit is, come on, roll my thing. Uh, that's uh, 13. I'm going to stop you. Yes. The first hit. Oh, okay. how do you want to kill this thing? Oh, okay, cool. Um, I want to believe that she like had her sword up for the bear and the bear goes down and she's like, oh. And then runs to the next closest thing and just like, <laughs> <laughs> and Amazing. slices it in half. Perfect. So good. Um, and there's nothing else within my range, correct? Because I had to Not cross yet. that distance. Okay, so yeah. nothing yet. Um, okay. So then what she's gonna do um, has uh, you know what? Nope. That's, I think that's all she's going to do. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And then we have these two apes who are going to finish crossing the distance and arrive. One of them is going to attack you, Devlin, and one of them is going to attack Anya. Okay. That's a nat one. <laughs> nice. Yay! And that's a 20. Okay, so the, the second one slashes out at Anya and hits four. Will hit me. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I does a 20 hit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that'll definitely hit. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes, you know, paladins, they'd be crazy. I think I had a paladin with a 21 AC at one point. Okay, they hit you for nine damage. Okay. Got it. Okay. And then it is Noke's turn. He is once again going to extend Ray of Frost towards Dev. Great. Because he doesn't like what you was doing. Okay. I like the magic boy. No. <laughs> Stop doing magic in my magic forest. Hang on, I gotta put the. Stop doing magic in my magic forest. No. <laughs> but I uh, guess not right now, cause I got a nine. Uh, so close. <laughs> so close. So far. Better luck next time, buddy. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, you hear in the background an encouraging bleat. Uh, <laughs> and with that, we are gonna run back up to the top of our initiative. Uh, you have taken out this ape. So we go to loose. Um, so uh, bonus action, gonna move my hex from that ape to the one that's currently in front of Anya. Mm -hmm. And then um, gonna hit it with a, uh, gonna grab my, uh, my tome and hit it with a firebolt. Wonderful. Um, this is seven. Seven. All right, that does not hit. Goes wide. 
Yeah, just 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 a tiny bit. It catches a tree on fire. Uh, hey, um, you, can you can see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Javelin, it is your turn. Um, as he, he's seen like all of the combatants kind of make it around and not wanting to impede his groups uh, going towards the temple. He's going to drop spike growth and let that dissipate and then in his ape form take two punches at this ape in front of him. Go for it. Yeah. King Kong. Um, <laughs> no, one's a nat one and one's a nine to hit. <laughs> More like Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that you you do, like, punch, but you just see this thing totally absorb your blows and just go... Mm. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, and that is... Vesper. I'm going to move my Hunter's Mark <laughs> off the dead bear to Nook, and I'm going to take two shots at him to see if I can just get him to stop. Does a seven, 13 hit? Let's see. A 13 does hit. Yes. Class. Remember this? Um, 11 points for the first uh, shot. Okay. And second shot. Uh, 13, uh, 14 actually to hit this time. I will hit. And with that, and that just starts. 14 points of damage. Okay. Great. And yeah. All right, you aim your bow up at him. You take your two shots and they strike true. He staggers back and cries out. Anya. There's an ape in front of me? There is an ape in front of me. Great, I'm gonna hit it twice. I'm gonna try and hit it twice. Um, so that's a natural twenty. Woo! Bow, 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 bow. Remind me with with paladins. Do I wait until it hits to say that I smite, or you can smite whenever you dang want? <laughs> and I smite this natural twenty. You can absolutely smite on this natural twenty. Cool. Uh, that'll be a thunderous smite. Okay. Um, first level. So let me the damage for you for the first thingy. So that's 11 and plus 14 and then this is 14 plus 9. So 23 points. You cut that bad boy down. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and that's I think that's it. Yeah, because it's a bonus action and she attacked. I mean, I guess she can technically attack again. Where's the other ape? It is on uh, Devlin. Oh. Can, is it within her movement to get over there? Uh, you were all standing fairly close to each other, so yeah. I'm going to try and hit that one. Go a for it. A regular hit. That is a 17 plus 6. 17 plus 6. That will hit. So just a regular We're old watching Anya regular old attack. <laughs> uh, so that's 14. 14 points of damage, absolutely. This thing looks messed up, but it is not dead. And it is going to swipe out once again at Devlin. Does a 10 hit you? So close, but no. What? Crazy. <laughs> All right, it swipes out at you, and it does not successfully <laughs> hit. Uh, it's it's looking pretty messed up, so you know it's it's terrible performance can be pardoned. Uh, it's swinging wide as blood drips from its body from uh, the terrible damage that has been done to it. Uh, seeing this, seeing all of this happen, Noke is going to actually disappear. He retreats back onto his platform, and you hear a rustling. Uh, for one moment. There's almost a strange silence, uh, and then you hear a terrifying sound of splintering wood and joints and things coming together, and you hear a 
as Noak emerges, riding on a terrifying creature that you have never seen before. It looks like it should be a dragon, but it is constructed out of wood that has been joined together in a haphazard fashion. Uh, it is created in some strange kind of way that you cannot quite understand, uh, but just for funsies, let's have all of y'all uh, roll a perception check really quick. Twenty-three for Devlin. Eighteen. Eighteen. But eight. She's not that smart. <laughs> oh, totally fine. Uh, you, all of you who notice who rolled above an eighteen, eighteen or above, notice that there are bed sheets on this thing. Uh, that's it. <laughs> And with that, we are going to return to the top of initiative. Uh, let's go to D race car bed. Loose. Yeah, is this is this just like the chicken run like bird that they make? <laughs> oh my god! I haven't seen chicken run since I was like five, so I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Cast. All right, Luz, I believe that the ape who is on you is. Big old yeah, dead. dead. Um, bonus action. Once again, move that hex onto Noak. And you, uh, gonna... you can move the hex onto Noak. He is. Um, how does hex have a range to it? I think. I think it's pretty decent. Chat, can you get it before I can find it? <laughs> Uh, 90 uh, feet. Mm -hmm. 90 feet? Yeah. Okay, yes, you can cast Hex. He is exactly at 90 feet. All uh, right. Hex up to him, and then, um... Oh, no, 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 which one is... Which one goes farther? Do, 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 do. I'm gonna once again try for Firebolt. I'm just gonna keep trying. If I can at least catch it on fire, maybe that'll be nice. Sure thing. Come on, big money, no whammies. And you're aiming for the dragon or for Noke? I'm aiming for, um, is Noke inside the dragon or on the dragon? He's riding atop it. Going for Noke. Okay. So um, Firebolt, so 16 plus. So, uh, 18. Yeah, that hits. Uh, 18, so that's gonna be... Um, 2d10 plus hex. Seventeen points of damage. Woo! So, uh, that's gonna be 14 points of fire damage and three points of necrotic damage. All right, you go ahead and you smash into Noak with a firebolt. Fire! You hit him, but miss the dragon. And next in initiative is Devlin. You have one ape still in front of you looking really messed up, and then you have Noak riding atop a wooden dragon. Are you oh, muted? I can't hear you for some reason. Oh no! Ooh, sorry. Ah. I'm back. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to punch this thing again. Uh, first attack is a 23 to hit. Yep. Um, for eight points of bludgeoning damage. It's out, baby. <laughs> just like sleeper punch, just like. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hundred percent. Um, <laughs> and then just start like ape running like towards the tower absolutely fantastic okay this is this dragon wormling's turn it is going to dive down at you uh it's going to dive down at the party as a whole uh it's going to ignore devlin for the moment 
and it is going to use its breath. I need everyone to make a DC 13 dexterity save. Dex. I fail. Oh no. Fail. <laughs> I'm dexterous. Oh no. Guess a one. one. And. Oh no. And uh, what did you get, Vesper? I got a 10. Okay. We all failed. Oh, all yeah. of us failed? Okay. Yeah. Oh no! Okay. But so what did right. Shine Bright get? Uh, he's in the <laughs> forest. Shine Bright's a coward. Okay, he's just there. He's gone. Uh, you all are going to take the full damage, which is 7d6 splinter damage. Splinter? Hmm. Yes. Owie. All right. Oh, We're dead. One moment, please. That is... oh, That's 25 damage. Oh. Somehow I'm still up. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> All right. And then it is... Let's see. It is Anya's turn. Oh, no. Vesper's turn. Excuse me. Okay, I have a question. How... Oh. What is the approximate weight of this dragon wormling? Uh, it's pretty fast and you're in combat. I'm gonna make you roll a, let's see, I guess a perception check to try to figure that out. Or yeah, perception. 17. Um, you can tell that it is pretty heavy um, for something to be able to ride atop it and for it to be able to attack at such a high rate, yeah, it's a pretty heavy creature. Is it over 500 pounds? Not over 500. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna Go hope for it. Works. I'm gonna try to cast Levitate on the dragon. Mm -hmm. I need it to make a con 14 save. Absolutely. Let's see, what is its con? <laughs> This is an amazing and wild save. Let's see. Only use it once. <laughs> it rolled a nine. Cool. I'm All right, going so to- what happens? So with Levitate, if I'm reading this right, I can make, the only way it can move is by pushing or pulling against a fixed object. So I'm gonna just hold it in midair. Okay. And I have to concentrate for 10 minutes, so it can't move unless I, it grabs something to pull it, or I can move it on my action. Mm, okay. So it's just kind of stuck there. Stuck 20 feet. Fantastic. Now, does it repeat the save on its turns, or does it just um, stay where it is? I don't think it, it has say anything. Yeah. Uh, no, nope. it's just stuck so. there, stuck 20 feet above all of y'all. Writhing and making general bed creaking noises. Uh, oh, college and <laughs> and that, and that is Anya's know. turn. It's Anya's turn now. Cool, mm -hmm. cool, cool. Um, uh, she just kind of looks upset, and she's like. And you watch her pull like a couple splinters and then like her hand kind of glows and she like sears the like splinters together and she's gonna lay on hands herself. Absolutely. Um, so she's gonna go ahead and just pull from that lovely pool of healing that she has. Um, and yeah. Um, and then I have not played Paladin before. Go that's my action. Can Hit I it. still? Okay, so that's like I'm making. Are sure you thinking that I'm not... of casting a spell for a bonus a action? Bonus action, yes. Because, that was what I was. Yeah, uh, lay on hands isn't technically casting, so okay. Yeah, you're so I could still do a spell. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I am going to look at. Um, oh gosh, where is it? This is me trying to figure out. 
Um, I'm going to look at um, Luce and cast Shield of Faith. Nice. Um, so you now have a plus two to your AC. So try not to get hit. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, mm -hmm. And that's her turn. Oh, wait. Actually, she's going to move closer to the dragon. She's going to move, like, under it. Is it above us now or no? It is a, it's 20 feet above you. Okay, directly above. Then I'm going to stay where I am if we're right Fantastic. under it. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, it is now, I believe, Noak's turn. And he is going to use his turn to cast... Hmm. Who's been giving him a lot of trouble? Vesper. Okay. He is going to reach out his hand and cast Polymorph on you, Vesper. And... Oh, yikes. You need to make a wisdom saving throw. Let me see exactly what... I'm scared. <laughs> One moment. Oh, no. DC 14. Yay. Oh, thank God. 19 plus three. All right. He extends his hand towards <laughs> you and casts Polymorph. And you feel yourself beginning to grow and change. And all of a sudden, you snap yourself out of it. It usually wicks. <laughs> Why didn't that work on you? Badass. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, and let's see. Does he want to do anything else? Uh, nope. That is his turn. Okay. So we are going to run to the top of initiative and loose. Go for it. Um, kind of, kind of stepping up, uh, alongside Anya, uh, and looking up at the dragon. How far up is it? 20 feet. Um, using my last spell slot, using just like, you kind of like see me go up and just using just necrotic energy just wraps up my hand and I cast Blight on the dragon. Okay. And so it has to make a constitution save of... Crap. I spelled a new DCB. How did I figure that out? Crap. Pardon me as I... You're totally fine. <laughs> I haven't played a warlock in a hot minute. Understand. Fair. Um... It's so, eight plus your proficiency plus your spell casting. Plus my proficiency mod. So it has to make a spell a uh, constitution save of fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Or take half of the damage. Fantastic. Okay, it got a dirty twenty, so it will take half. Okay. Still eight d eight. Yeah. Still. Nice. That's a spicy spell. <laughs> Love this 34 divided by 2 is 17. 17 damage. Fantastic. Of necrotic. 17 necrotic damage. Let me check something really quickly. Other spell. Nope. No resistance. I mean, this thing is very strong. <laughs> Okay, and now we are down to Devlin. Um, as he's like running away and then all of a sudden all these splinters go shooting into his friends, he's gonna quickly turn around, drop his wild shape, and then reach into his fey energy inside of him um, and send some balmy summer healing um, I love to, the summer court. Um, to Vesper. Lovely. Um, and you get 14 points of healing. Circle of Dreamers! I love Bob and Sword. Amazing. Anything else? Uh, I will stay where I'm at, so I am good with that. Fantastic. And we are down to Vesper now. Look at that. Oh, wait. I'm so sorry. The dragon has entered initiative, so he does get... Go 
Uh, he has succeeded in recharging his breath weapon. Oh no. Um, okay, uh, he is going to once again try to attack you with his breath weapon. Uh, and yeah. everyone make a DC 13 dexterity save. Oh, thank God. 17. 12. I just missed it. Oh. Er. It's gonna be a 18. 18, okay, so two of you pass, one of you fail, so two of you will take half damage. Oh, this is only 60. That's not what you want here, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ugh, it sounds so terrible. It really does. All right. As we all fear for us. Twenty-seven, so that'll be fourteen for any of you who succeeded. I'm out. I'm on the ground. Who? Oh. oh. All right. You watch as this thing. Uh, it is writhing up in its space where it has been trapped by uh, Vesper's magic, but it takes in a breath, splinters out more, and you watch as your traveler friend falls to the ground. And that is, let's see, best person. You hear like a little. Oh. Oh. Um. Do you need to make a concentration save on? Oh yeah, I gamut? do. Uh, what's the DC? Oh, my head is gone. Oh, that's a good question. It's half of the amount of damage that you yes. take. Yes. Okay, and you took half damage. Four correct? ten. Oh, I took full damage. Oh, you took full damage. Okay, mm -hmm. so. So DC 14. Yeah. I got a 21. You're good. He stays up. Gosh. Uh, keeping um, concentration on the levitate, she's going to fire two shots at Nook to see if she can hit him. Okay. Does a 13 hit? A 13 does hit. That's eight points of damage for the first shot. Okay. Uh, 14 plus seven is, can't do basic math. 20, no, 21. 21 will hit. And mm, five points of damage that hit. Okay. Wow. Okay. And just going to keep concentration on making the dragon stay in place. Absolutely. So you, the next person in initiative is Anya. It's, you shoot out at this, at a uh, Noak and hit him and he groans and you honestly, even from this distance, see a manic look grace his eye. Anya, it is your turn. You know that moment where you had a plan? the plan um you're going to watch her uh like look at the dragon mm -hmm. look down at the cat look over the dragon and then uh sheath her sword for a second and her eyes will glow and she cast um cure wounds at second level Thanks. uh you're welcome so that is let me roll that for you on D &D beyond uh 11 D &D beyond. 11 points of healing for you. <gasps> um, yep, and then I get she's not moving because the dragon's still above her, so she'll just reach her hand out. Could she, like, I don't know, because it's the action for her, but she'll, a, for flavor, we'll be helping her friend up. But that's wonder. Uh, <sighs> you help as you're helping your friend up, you see Noak start to look very panicked. Uh, he looks at all of you and he looks down at his dragon that he has created, uh, stuck in the air, unable to move. And he takes stock of his own injuries and he takes out a wand that you have not seen before. Uh, you hear 
your sheep friend begin to bleat insanely in the background and you watch as no points the wand at himself and he says i'm not gonna let him win i'm not gonna go back to him and he casts and the energy comes out onto himself and you see it begin to overtake him and change him and he begins to polymorph into this huge huge creature and then something goes wrong the wand crackles it fizzes the light changes from its green to a terrifying red and you see the form that he began to take coalesce and shift and all of a sudden there's a bang you watch as the dragon shakes falls apart and crashes to the ground immobile from the wood and splinters emerges a terrifying creature of flesh and bone writhing with so many so many mouths and so much teeth and it begins to move towards you uh we are at the top of initiative loose you have just um, been here. uh seeing this guy i'm gonna cast gonna just like how far away from me is he 20 20 feet eldritch blast on him I don't like feet, yeah mm -hmm. so eldritch blast two beams first one was a two uh the okay. second one was a 19. let's so see the 19 will hit one point of damage okay you deal a point of damage to this thing as it shambles towards you next is devlin um yeah uh, being pretty concerned with what this thing is um he is going to um turn and throw his wand forward um, and summoning between um, his friends and this creature um, pull two dire wolves out from the Feywild nice. um, and cast conjure animals amazing um, are they able to move on this turn or do they enter initiative after this round I believe they act on your initiative if i'm correct i have had a lot of dms rule this differently so uh, i'm just okay absolutely curious mm -hmm. of how you want to do it <laughs> sure thing i i'll say that they act on your turn but since you summoned them on this turn they'll attack on their turn. great mm -hmm. love it yeah okay that's my turn then all right and we are to vesper she's going to see the mon the monstrosity take Pustos, as she's walking back, I'm going to use my action to cast Cure Wounds at sub second level for me. I need the heal. Sure thing. Cool. Not that bad. And uh, she's just going to keep backing up away from this thing, not wanting to be too close to it. Absolutely. Nice. And Anya, that's your turn. Cool. Um, uh, she's gonna look up and look at the dire wolves, draw her greatsword again, um, and you will watch as her, as she kind of, like, holds the greatsword for a second and shakes her head, kind of resigned, and you will watch her eyes glow and two incorporeal wings shoot from her back. Um, yes! As she uses her radiant soul um, and these wings will shoot out of her back and she will fly up and back 30 feet. Uh, I want her ten, probably 20 feet off the ground and 10 feet back is probably mm -hmm. what I'm um, But poof, nice. Um, and then 
because that's just a uh, an action that's a part of her being an awesome art. She can still spell cast as a bonus action, correct? Yep, if it's a bonus action. Perfect. Um, okay, then she is going to... Um, gosh, where is it? Um, there it is. Uh, she is going to... Actually... I'm I'm having trouble remembering Sarah. Did her shield of faith go? Was that after or before her Tabaxi fe- friend fell? I'm trying to see if I need to apply it again. It was, it was before. Before, before? Yeah. okay. So she's gonna throw shield of faith on her friend again. Plus two AC. Absolutely. Thanks. You're welcome. That's first level shield of faith. So she's or not shield? Yes, shield of faith. Wonderful. Um, and that is her turn. Weirdly, I'm hearing like Angemon say hand of faith. It's just <laughs> like that's my mind is kind of fake. It's, like uh, that. <laughs> it's literally she's gonna like have this huge like fanfare sort of look with the wings, and you're gonna see her fly back from you, and then she's gonna reach forward and just be like, "Dodge," <laughs> and just you kind of glow for a second, <laughs> just like fur kind of like puffs up a little bit, like mm-hmm. yeah, you all see the <laughs> tail go, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And so that with that, like her back spine twitches. Yeah. It is whatever is left of Noakes. Uh, it begins to speak, but it is nothing like you have ever, no language you have ever heard before, nothing that you can understand. It comes in discordant pitches higher and lower, melding together into something that sounds almost like nails on a chalkboard, but so much worse. And it pierces into your very ears and into your mind. And I need all of you to make a DC 10 wisdom saving. Wisdom saving, okay. That oh, is except for you, uh, Anya. Oh. Oh, okay. You hear this noise, but uh, it's faded and it does not reach you. Oh, I like to imagine that it's like the beating of her wings. Just she can't hear. <laughs> just drowns out. What? What was that? Huh? What? I'm sorry. What? Eleven. So six for, for me. Eleven. Eight. Six and eight. Mm-hmm. Six. Interesting. Oh, oh no. Okay. Cool. I don't like that. I don't like that word. Cool. Cool. No, no. Cool. 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 <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Okay, that is its turn, and we are going to go back to the top of our initiative, which is loose. You failed the save, correct? Yep. Could I get you to roll a d8 for me and tell me what it says? I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. Daniel and I just made connection via this <laughs> thing. Like, two. Not good. Glad two. we're both like away from them. <laughs> yeah, we're just. You do nothing. You stand stock still, terrified, unable to escape this noise that has somehow burrowed its way into your very... Next, we have Devlin. You have made your save. Yeah. uh, Gonna command the wolves to first off go up and attack this thing. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So the first one to hit is a 22. That'll hit. Cool. Um, and that's 10 points of piercing damage. Okay. Um, and the second wolf is a, uh, a natural 20 to hit. That'll hit. Um, for another 10 points of damage. Wonder. Oh, actually, really quickly. Um, so the way that we do natural 20s here is that your first die is full damage. Second die, just roll and take what it is. So, natural twenty, roll two dice. No, it was it was unnatural twenty, unnatural twenty, unnatural twenty, unnatural okay. twenty. Ha ha ha. Okay, absolutely. Then I'll just take cool. that ten. You won't hear me complain. <laughs> this is my monster. Um, okay. it's a very nice monster. Mm-hmm. It's your definition um, nice. <laughs> Oh, my definition never doesn't get me killed. Yeah. Um, And he's going to back up about 25 feet. Absolutely. So Um, pretty much getting his back up to the tower as best he can. Sure thing. 
this thing held its true action. Sorry to mislead you all. Uh, it's going to reach out and bite at Vesper right before she takes her turn. And let's see. It has a plus two to hit. Does an 11 hit? All right, you're good. However, you are still terrified. So on your turn, I need you to roll 1d8. Three. Three? You also mm -hmm. are paralyzed. You do not. Anya, it is your turn. She's very confused on why no one's moving. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, cool. Um, I went 20 feet up and 10 feet back, or 10 feet, 20 feet, whatever. How how close am I to the creature? How close has it gotten to us with the wolves in the way? Ah, it is, um, it's actually right on your party now. Uh, so okay. you're about 30, 35 feet away. Okay. Um... If if it's 30 feet, she would like to get there and hit it. Mm -hmm. um, that would be nice. Uh, so she's going to attack it twice. Sure thing. Um, so let's see. So that's 12 plus 6 for the first one. That'll hit. Um, she would like to... Um, do a uh, bonus action branding smite on that one. Smite! Um, so, and then it will also have the plus five radiant damage because she is in her angel four. Oh. So give Beautiful. me one second to give you all of that damage. <laughs> um, Paladins, man. Oh my God, that's double sixes. Okay, so I love D&D Beyond rolling this for me so I don't have to. It's so nice. Um, <laughs> Uh, and then this it one does for you. is, oh, yes. Okay, so plus that and plus five. So that is uh, eight and plus the 31. 31 points of damage. And then she's going to hit it again. <laughs> you, yeah, you slice yeah. out with this first hit and you cut off a chunk and it falls writhing to the ground. Yes, and let me double check. Do, 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 do. Um, oh yeah, and this, it's not super important, but um, it can not be invisible at any, it, yeah, it sheds dim light with branding cool. smite. Um, the so... shambling mass glows like. <laughs> it glows now. <laughs> it's hopefully less freaky. Um, now you can see it. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, um, she's going to attack it again, just like a regular old. Go for it. Uh, that is a 15. 15 does hit. Okay. Um, so that's plus this, 13. 13. Mm-hmm. You yeah, only slice get the off that one time. another piece of this creature. It begins to scream and writhe. You have come into the uh, the area of the creature, so I am going to have to have you make a DC 10 wisdom saving. 10 wisdom? Mm -hmm. That is uh, 16 total. Fantastic. So Okay. Now she hears it. She's like... Ah, don't like it. And it is its turn. It is going to... Ooh. You see it undulate and arrive one Don't moment, like, and like that you hear a different noise coming up from inside. It's something almost like a... And nope, it is nope, going nope, nope, nope. to do a spit at you. Everyone Ew. make a DC... Everyone except Devlin, actually, make a DC 13 dexterity saving. Dex. Oh, bless. Uh, that's a... Yeah, that passes. It's a 21. Okay. That one for me. Oh. 
Nat one. Nine though, but it's no. a nat one. I mean, exactly. Protein exactly meets it, beats it. Okay. Jasper, you were, you were terrified by the noise. Uh, it it crescendoed in your mind and seemed to echo off of your own temples. And all of a sudden, you watch Frozen as this thing spits something out onto the ground and it explodes. You're unable to move as it moves towards you and hits your eyes. You are blind. Oh, <laughs> blind ranger. Okay. If only you had an owl to hoot above them. <laughs> Loose. Uh, can you roll a d8 for me? Do I ever get to make another wisdom saving throw? Uh, I, if you roll a one to a four, you will break out of it this time. Four. All right. You are able to use your action. <sighs> <sighs> You kind and, of become inoculated to the noise. And uh, once again, at this bad boy, firebolt. Okay. Let's see if this works. Oh, that's a seven. Uh, plus two, nine. Nine is exactly the things I see. Oh. <laughs> I was so worried because I thought at first it was a one, but it was a seven plus two. Okay, so that's two d ten. Fifteen. Hey, Luce. How you want to kill this thing? <laughs> um, just after being literally looking like a porcupine having her ears ringing and just being all kinds of done. <laughs> she looks at this crabby thing and like thinks to her dear friend and kind of looks up and she's like, I don't like him either. And I just, just like, she, as if she heard someone say something in her head, it's like, meh, she's like, I don't like him either. And just <laughs> amazing. You send out this firebolt and it sticks into this huge shambling thing as Anya cuts off pieces of it and it just goes up in flames. The whispers and cacophonies turn into shrieks as it falls to the ground, dead. And you all are out of initiative. You have defeated Noak. <sighs> Starbright <laughs> now emerges from behind a tree. <laughs> uh, Not Starbright. I walk over to I walk over to Vesper, and I'm kind of looking at her, and I pull out my my uh, my canteen, and I I kind of like tap her shoulder, and I lift her face up, and I start pouring water, trying to flush out her eyes a little bit. Aww. Anya flies down to look for the water. Yeah, uh, you go into this writhing oh, masses so as it begins to settle and she's just find kicking it flesh in away in the middle in the middle of this the remains of this creature cool uh devlin walking back up to everyone is everyone feeling okay uh that's I mean, you're kind of mute as well as blind <laughs> uh I don't think that vesper oh, can also see. as this thing dies vesper your fear dissipates. You are simply blind. I, um, unfortunately don't have any that right now. Neither do I. My bad. Oh, yeah, no. you might need, to, might need to sleep overnight on this one, Vesper. Uh, but I, I kind of, like, do a little bit of whatever little bit of first aid I know and just kind of, like, dab at her eyes and try to flush out yeah. the, the gunk. I'm gonna say, go ahead and, and make a medicine check. Just like if I can't if I can't fix it, I can at least try to make her comfortable. Right. It's gonna be it's a seven. Seven. Yeah, you you try, but it's almost like there's a film 
over their eyes. Okay. Yeah. It's gone. Oh. Pretty. You cut oh, out there. Try again. again. Uh, I'm just gonna hope it's gone in the morning. This is terrifying, though. Can't yeah. see anything. It's very. I mean, we won. It's dead. Oh. All oh, oh. right. Oh right. She. Um. um. You. Yeah. You see Shine Bright come out from the woods. Uh, he looks up and sees the wand and gets very excited and actually takes. Uh, your a little piece of your armor in his mouth very carefully because metal and starts to pull in the direction of the tower. Okay. Uh, does someone want to hold hands with? Um... I got her. Great. And I put her. I put her hand on my shoulder. So Not it. Grab. <sighs> okay. And he takes you oh, into the tower, rifles around a little bit, uh, and comes out with another scroll, much like the one you saw at the very beginning of your adventure. Um, ah. Gonna hand it to Devlin. I'm gonna take <laughs> it out scroll. and read out the, the magical words. Oh, thank God. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, you can speak again. I liked it better when he was buying, actually. Oh, well, that's No, this is much preferable. I... Just tell me how to do this thing, please. Um, anyone who's proficient in Arcana, can you make a... Actually, is anyone pr proficient in Arcana? No. No? All right, everyone make an Arcana check, then. Oh, oh okay. You're not gonna know anything. Oh, I got a ten. All my power comes from above. Yeah. That's a five. I That's don't learn things for me I as well. Also, <laughs> probably while we're walking in here and the sheep starts talking, you guys get to your wings back in and go poof, and they're gone. Amazing. So, did anyone roll above a ten? Nineteen. Nineteen. The blind person. The blind one. <laughs> Great. <gasps> Amazing. Okay. Um, <laughs> Great. You feel a strange energy, even though you cannot see it. And uh, you remember something. You remember before you were blinded, Noak pointing the wand at himself. You remember seeing him begin to transform into something else, and then transform into something completely different, something completely unintended. Um, don't use the wand yet. Something seems off. I don't know. Oh, right. Best oh, to let describe it. Uh, Shine Bright <laughs> will go up to it and he'll look up at you, Anya, and go, may I? I, sure, I don't. Yeah, fine. I'm just gonna hand it to him. Put it he in his mouth. He takes it in his teeth and spits it down onto the ground so you can get a better look at it. And he says, ah, it has been changed. This makes a lot of sense. It wasn't meant ever meant to polymorph that many creatures. I don't know if you knew, but all those things that you were fighting, definitely humans at one point. That uh, makes me feel much better. About killing them? It's better than killing animals. I don't Yes, I'm going to need you out of my forest the moment that this is taken care of. That I... was... You know, I'm an asshole, and that was terrifying. I don't... I, I don't... Nature you is don't... beautiful. We don't have time to unpack <laughs> all of that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this is my new mail route, so if you don't want to ever get any of your mail again, then I mean, that's fine with me. Is oh, anyone uh... sending your letters? I don't know what mail is. I get so many letters, how dare you? Do you? You're the one who told Roll me not insight. to get out of your forest. <laughs> Roll oh, in specifically <laughs> talking to Devlin. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, my insight was uh, 19 plus 
Five. This man doesn't get any letters. 24, that's <laughs> right. He's no friend. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have less friends than I do now. Perhaps that may be. This is tampered with. So can you change yourself back or no? Perhaps. Uh, perhaps it will do something a little less desirable, but I uh, no longer well, wish to be a sheep, well, so I... Can we... Can we hmm, I'm gonna pause you for a second. Um, if it's gonna possibly turn you into something else, could you wait like eight hours until oh, we're no. not all gonna die? Noke's a fool and not powerful. Uh, for me, it I would simply die. Oh, well then go ahead. I would need one of you to cast it. Oh. Um, Paid for this? Unless... I made this and it has been broken. Uh, you will... Would you like to be paid? I'm blind at the moment, yes. I would I'll, like money. I'll take it's it. It's lovely. A donation is important to the church. Tell you what, uh, if I live, you can have each... 200 gold. Seems fair. Sounds if nice. I die, you can have all of it. Even better. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Are you casting this? Um, and also, which one of you is casting it? <laughs> um. Does anyone else here have any kind of... I kind of look around as like, does anyone actually have any kind of... I mean, this is, this is poison crap. I think that we usually, I get my powers from, you know what? Fuck it. And she's going to sit there for a second and pray (laughs) and try and get an answer from her god on whether or not this is a good idea for her. (laughs) Sure. uh, Roll for religion. Oh, okay. 15 plus uh, 4, 19. Much uh, kind of in a similar vein, I'm going to see if, I'm gonna like kind of like work my way around in my head and see if like, yo buddy, to my patron, like yo buddy, could I do this or nah? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and also roll a religion check. Go for it. <laughs> We're all just having conversation, <laughs> just just conversations in your head with your guy. Devlin's very aware that like this kind of magic does not work with him. <laughs> so it's an 18 for loose. Real dumb. Okay. Um, Anya, you hear, uh, you feel a presence wash over you. Uh, however, you are not in your temple. Yeah. And the connection is slightly tarnished in that way. You don't hear Helm, but you do feel a slight uncertainty. Um, uh, this is weird. I don't get out much. You can't... Wow, you didn't... Really, we're not that far from town. Okay, this is not for me. And she handles... She hands it to the warlock. Um, yeah, the, you you reach around in your mind a little bit. Uh, your patron's not, not quite as uh, picky. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. Your patron, uh, you feel them being called up in your mind, and they go... Yes. She's just twiddling this wand around like a drone stick. Like, okay. Oh, you want to use that? I mean, why not? I mean, go for it. Do it. I mean, if he dies, then we get all the stuff. Is this out loud? It's in your brain. You can see her brain. You can see her eyes kind of like, hmm. Okay. I was like, continue the like, I'm gonna be straight with you. That thing is straight janked up, and this dude is a pompous ass, so he might turn into a monster, but like, wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't it be cool? You should do it. It would you be cool, but it. like, you should do it. <laughs> Fuck it. And I'm gonna take the wand, and I'm gonna YOLO. Bam. <laughs> okay. Um, you need to. And roll I say me. YOLO. 
YOLO. You need to roll me an intelligence check. <laughs> when we do this, Anya's going to put both hands out like a mom stopping their kids in a car to both of the other people and just step them back. <laughs> oh no! Are oh, what? A, a four? It's a four. He's dead. We get all the shit. Or he's not. Or he's a monster. <laughs> Yikes! Here we go again, everybody. <laughs> we thought it was done. It's not. John, Hello, no friends. <laughs> Just sound tail. No. We're back. Gosh darn it! You um say YOLO. You hear your patron hissing with laughter in your head as you see a very similar situation occur again as Motherfucker. sheep wool is replaced by terrifying shambling flesh what is wrong with your god <laughs> he's not my god he's my buddy <laughs> Well, and I'm that's gonna very different parameter. Initiative. Unfortunate. Whoa. It's a natural 20 on my initiative. 21. <laughs> okay. 18 um, for me. Eight. Oh, hang on. I cannot see you, so I'm going to call out for you. Luce? 18. 18? Uh, Devlin? 21. 21. Oh, yeah. And the best audience doesn't use him pretty great. Pretty twenty. Pretty good entertainment. You better make these guys work. Vesper's still blind. Okay. Vesper is fully still blind. Okay. Uh, Devlin and Anya, what's your dex modifiers? Uh, plus, plus two. Plus two. Oh I love man. Uh, could I get both of you to roll again for me? Yeah. Uh, sixteen. Eight. Okay. So Anya, for you. Technically. Technically. You hate to see it. You hate to see the guy that you just did all that work for turn, turn into, into a, a monster. A monstrous creature. Uh, but you know what? He wanted the spell cast on him, and that's what happens. What I did my work. Uh, let's roll some initiative for this bad boy. He's not very dexterous. He's a shambling mass of flesh and mouths. Gross. Yes. Okay. At the top of initiative is Anya. Oh, and unfortunately, I'm so sorry. Before any of you take any action, you're all going to have to roll that sweet, sweet save sweet for me. DC 10 wisdom saving throw. That is uh, 8 plus 6, so I'm good. Okay. 25. Or 23 for... Devlin. Everyone else? 30, 20? 16. 16? Everyone passes. Uh, you faced this thing already, literally five minutes ago. These terrifying screams and whines and yells don't scare you anymore. Uh, Anya. Does that mean my shield is still up? Uh, that's a good question. I think the it's time It's up to a minute. Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mind. Thought I'd ask. Yeah, I um... Um, you know what? <laughs> Two hit. <laughs> I'm just gonna roll to hit him twice. Absolutely. Great sword out. Um, oh, well, you didn't even roll in my thing. There you go. Um, 11 plus 6, 17. 17 will hit. Um, okay, so that's. Uh, would my. Question for you. Would my uh, sacred weapon still be a sacred weapon? I haven't fallen unconscious. And I am still holding it. Those are the only things it says. I'm not totally sure, so I'm gonna say yes. Great. <laughs> um, okay, and can I also add a smite to that one that hit? Go it'll for be my it. last level one, so it'll be a thunderous smite. So I'm gonna roll that damage for you before I give you the stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, 19 total. 19 damage. Um, and then I'm gonna hit him again. Hit him again. That's a eight plus six. That'll hit him again. Uh, and that one's only 10 points. 10 points of damage. Um, and then how big is this room that they're in? 
Uh, it's pretty large, I want to say. It's it's a circular room, and the uh, radius is 30 feet, so 60 feet all the way across. Okay. Um, is he's, he's just directly in front of all of us, right? Yep. Okay, she's just, she's just standing in front of her party. <laughs> Bastion, wonderful. We've got Devlin next. Uh, well, that didn't quite work. And he's going to send his two wolves straight at this thing. They'll have the wolves. Oh, that's yes. right. Um, Dogs. They'll yeah. stick around for an hour. <laughs> uh, the first one is a 15 to hit. That'll hit. Oh, that dice is gone. Nope, there it is. <laughs> gone first. Um, for... Uh, seven points of damage. All right. The second wolf is also going to bite out for a 24 to hit. Yeah. Um, and 10 points of damage. And then seeing his friend still kind of not looking amazing, he's going to bonus action cast uh, Healing Word on um, Vesper. Just to do a little bit more healing. Uh, seven points of healing for Vesper. That's my Amazing. turn. Amazing. And let's go to Vesper. I can't fly. She. Oh god, what am I gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna just hear the noise and just like try to back up to see if she can find a wall and just like feels around panically for one just like tries to lean against it yeah and can i would it be an action to see if i can figure out hearing wise where he exactly is or to attack or yeah to just try to loosely fire an arrow i will say you can fire off an arrow oh Uh, no and you're gonna shoot me. I'm gonna make you roll a D100, yeah, and then roll for your attack. So go ahead and roll me a D100. Um, 25 and under, you will hit a party member. Come on, don't. 73. All right. Uh, so you go ahead and make the attack. Make it with disadvantage since you're. I shall. Uh, does a nine hit? A nine does hit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's go. So first attack well, is we're still going. Five points of damage for the first shot, and okay. feeling cocky, fire another arrow. Oh, I wish that would work. I got a natural twenty, but with disadvantage, that's seventeen to hit. I also am gonna need you to roll a d one hundred. Oh yeah, shit. That's right. 72. Okay, <laughs> you are all good. Go ahead. That hits it. Uh, that is uh, just eight points of damage. Absolutely. This thing's looking messed up already. Did I? <laughs> all of you have just been wailing on this thing. Surprisingly, yes. Awesome. <laughs> and Luce, it is your turn. Um, immediately, like, seeing this thing, I look at my friends and I'm like, Sorry! and uh, try to fire off a firebolt. Let's give it in. That's a seven, so nope. Does not. Uh, it eats your firebolt, actually. You shoot it oh, into one gross. of its mouths, and uh, it just <laughs> eats that damage. It's Kirby. It's suddenly Burp. on fire. <laughs> oh, no. Don't. And, okay, perfect. but like, Kirby as a D&D monster would be terrible. <laughs> Don't give them ideas. <laughs> No. It suddenly now has cat Not right ears now, Sarah. It's your Not... power. Not right now. Everyone coming coming to a channel near you <laughs> next month on this Round channel. Table. A Kirby monster. <laughs> I will not be a deck save or be month. sucked into his mouth. <laughs> I I am now making it my mission to find a TTRPG that will fit that perfectly for Round Table. I'm, <laughs> yeah. spoiler I'm, here, I'm here for inspiration. Here we go. All right, it is this thing's turn, and it is going to reach out and try to attack. 
Let's be fair about this. It's not really trying to hit anyone in general. It can't even see. Loose. Okay. Does a 17 hit? Yes. Come okay. on, man. I gave you life. <laughs> All right. You gave oh it something. Oh, my. But what life is this? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it is going to hit you for 5d6. <laughs> As it's teeth emerge and just the mouth larger than life <laughs> descends on you. No matter it what, is I'm Kirby. This is just Kirby. <laughs> no, it is. 17 damage. Yeah, no, I'm unconscious again. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Okay. My max HP is 30. This thing not nice. uh, takes a bite out of loose. Actually takes a bite out of the hand that was holding the polymorph wand. Ow. And loose goes down. Back to the top of initiative. We're at Anya. Um... She's gonna look over her shoulder, and then she's gonna look at her elven friend and be like, "Can you, can you get that, please?" And hit Absolutely. the monster <laughs> twice. <laughs> so um, that's a natural twenty plus six to hit. Don't roll for damage. I mean, you can if you want to. Nah, uh, that's fine. Um, how do you want to do this, Anya? I would like to. If anything looks like its head. Does it have a head, or is it just a mob? It has no head, although one undulation of mouth of mouths rises higher than the rest. Um, she's just Almost gonna like an anthill of flesh. She's gonna mouth. lift her, so lifting her great sword, looking at her elven friend. Can you get that? And just, I kind of want to believe that it like her radiant sword lights up just a little more, and she goes to cleave it off, and you almost see like a wings again. Like, the head is just gone. Hell yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. All right. And with that, you have defeated the last creature that was a bit of a surprise. And you are out of initiative, standing Instantly. in the messy remains of what was once Shine Brights. As soon as, like, the head disappears, just energy just courses through uh, Devlin's hand and just, like, shines into um, loose. And you get seven points of healing. Hey! You're back! Plus uh, two temporary HP. <laughs> um... Is the wand still around in somewhere? Did they take it? Yes. Okay. Uh, Actually, it's right beside Luce. Anya immediately. Flick it. I'm just like, burn it. Burn it with fire. Anya just snaps it. Just drinks, snaps it, and sees what happens. She's tired. Um, Roll a d100, I suppose. Oh, no. Anya turns into a Find one. Uh, that's an 80 on my D100. Or did you want me to? Oh, yeah, that's sorry. Me. 80, so 8 and 9. 89. Okay. Uh, it sparks and crackles slightly as you snap it, but nothing else happens. And you watch as the crackles subside and it turns into an ordinary piece of wood. Cool. Um, she'll walk over, uh, and you'll see the faintest imprint of her wings again as she does uh, healing hands for five hit points for our friend who's gone down twice now. Uh, uh, just a little like you, you, you'll be fine. Um, I'm feeling I, great. I, yeah. I suggest maybe we you know sleep here and then take it for all it's worth, divide it evenly, and then I go home. That sounds awesome. That yeah. idea. You're really cool. She's like kind of out of it. She's like, you're so cool. You're really tall. That's like, the tall. first time that everyone, anyone has ever said that, so thank you. I'm looking right. for a pillow. <laughs> the bed got destroyed. 
Uh, a cushion from a chair. Yeah, the bed did turn into a dragon. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> find a cushion. That is gone. <laughs> and all right, are we all... Uh, looking though, we have to do, I am going to do a press to digitation cantrip to clean it up a little bit. Oh, okay, absolutely. For a second, I thought you were just shining light on the goo, and I was like, that's not what you want to do. <laughs> no, I'm it up. It up. Mm, gross. <laughs> Mop it up. Oh my uh, gosh. Any of you doing anything before you take your rest? Just I find a pillow, and I, I do the cat circle, and then I gonna ah. sleep with she's gonna close the door to the tower and sleep sitting up against with all her right. sword there all of you Shuff. to shuffle in yeah <laughs> oh, no. you take your long rest uh you sleep in the remains of what used to be once shine brights then noakes now nobody's tower and when you wake up in the morning you Look around, you find about a thousand golds worth of equipment, scrolls, and supplies, and head back into town. Um, in the morning when we wake up, Vesper, how's your vision? Uh, roll me a constitution save. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, blind, who knows? Constitution save. 13 you blink your eyes open for a moment they are bleary and unfocused and then all of a sudden the light shines through them you can see again put your oh, uh. there we go there you there. go I can see now. I've seen the light. It's fine. Ooh, gold. Oh, good. Just wanted to make sure. I prepared something to help you, but if you're okay. Okay. Let's, uh, go back. This feels like such a weird reason to leave. We killed the guy we came here for. And Listen, she's mumbling. He understood the thing that was probably going to happen. He asked us to do it. And like actually, we did nothing wrong. Listen, it was a 50-50 shot. Was it? It either happens or it doesn't. Exactly. Well, I... We came nah. from this way, right? And she's just <laughs> walking. Absolutely. And to make her way back. All of you walk back into town. Some of you just passing through. Some of you there to pay your respects, some of you to protect it from whatever may come to harm it. You're not quite sure what you should have learned from this moment. Uh, she, but, yeah. Yeah. Anya wants to ask them to send her letters when they leave town. Please. I will do what I can. I will for sure send you letters. Sure. Anytime, well, I mean, you guys are on my new route, so anytime I'm back in town, how about we hang out for a bit? Sure. I don't know if Helm will like that, but give it a try. Thanks. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You never know unless you try. Now. Different sides of the. Yeah, no, it'll be fine. <laughs> Just Henry. tell him you're trying to convert me. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> It's never gonna happen. It's not, and but hey. <laughs> maybe the real lesson that we learned along the way <laughs> friendship. <laughs> <laughs> the power of the real treasure. And, and the post office. <laughs> and the power yeah. of the post office and friendship. So the real treasure was the mail and the friends we made along the way. It yeah. Really yes. was. Right now is you the know? best time to write letters to your friends. They have holograms. <laughs> Halloween stamps right now. Send Oh, them. yeah. Buy those stamps. Go no, buy yeah. stamps. Let so me awesome. plug. And post office merch. They have merch. It's great stuff. <laughs> Let me plug a really cute idea for anybody who this is a D&D &D community. My friend Rue 
started this thing where instead of just pen pals being pen pals, you have your D&D &D characters write about their adventures to each other. So you can have them as like your story characters. It's adorable. Um, I love it a lot. So I'm, I'm writing to their druid with my druid. It's great. That's amazing. Oh. So I want to write to your idea. druid, oh, my wonderful. druid. Send me all the things. Anyway, guys, yes. support the oh, USPS. So much fun. <laughs> of course, the post office is the end of this <laughs> session. Uh, oh, thank God. you all. <laughs> uh, awesome. the, That's the whole reason I made this character. <laughs> yeah. The one yeah. shot that was used uh, kind of today was called The Wild Sheep Chase. Uh, you can take a look at it if you'd like. I definitely recommend it. Uh, thank you all for joining us so much today. And thank you all to our wonderful cosplayers for coming out and becoming such beautiful, amazing, wonderful characters. Uh, let's, uh, I'd love to take a round and hear about your names and handles and everything. So let's start off with Parker. Hi, I'm Parker Bliss and I'm literally always here. Um, so <laughs> I'm, Parker, I'm Parker Bliss on every every piece of social media, but I am also one of the anchors of the world. Wonderful. And we have got that Schaefer kid. Yeah, I am Daniel. I'm that Schaefer kid on pretty much everything. Um, I've recently started streaming on Twitch. So come follow me and hang out and yeah, do fun stuff. And also thank you, Sarah, so much for DMing. Yes, this was thank amazing. you, Sarah. Yeah, yeah Sarah. Yay, thank you. Uh, Courtney, speaking of which. Okay, um, I am Courtney, or The Court Couch, we on uh, also The Court Couch on pretty much every social media. It's The Court Couch Confidential on Instagram. But yeah, um, I do a lot of stuff on TikTok. <laughs> Same. And Layla. Hey, oh, I'm, my <laughs> handle is Layla Everlove on everything. I'm mainly a cosplayer for the most part. You can find a lot of my stuff on Instagram and TikTok, but yeah. This is a lot of fun. Yay. Yeah. And I'm Sarah. I've been your DM tonight. I hope you have a wonderful night, everyone. And just a reminder, no programming this Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. We will be picking it back up next Friday with Rolling Tides and Saturday with Conundrum Company. Have a wonderful night. Be excellent night, to each other. Bye. 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 Bye.